thing that stands out to me is the newness of Tears of the Kingdom, the experimentation, the boldness of it. I've just not really played a game Games? like it, really. The, 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 the Game Awards? That just don't get that the out. Game Awards? Yeah, but I mean, so what about Tears of the Kingdom? The Game Awards? The Game Awards? But there's no games. How can there be games? How can there be games? How can it be called the Game Awards if there's no games? I don't understand. How can it be called the Game Awards if there's no games? How can it be called the Game Awards if there's no games? That doesn't make any sense to me. Do you guys get that? But there's no games. There's just no games. Right. We got the No Game Awards. Uh, we are basically just waiting now. It is a waiting game for the Game Awards. Dead meme? It's not a meme. It is literally not a meme. There's no games. I don't understand how, how many times I need to point this out. There's no games. I might be able to get uh, Dolan in here, by the way. I'm messaging him, but I think he's just woke up. Right, I'm gonna call Dolan. I think I might have to call him on the other PC. Uh oh, there's like no sounds on Discord. There might. Oh, what's my hair? I just got out the shower. I was doing a run. I was doing a little baby run for a little bit. Who just joined? Thank you, Critical Mass, for the 14 months. Starfield Game of the Year? I think it actually won the uh, Xbox Game of the Year because X Buttons had no games. They had no games the whole year. Define brother. Define who? Is the hair natural blonde? No, it's brown. My hair's always been brown. I've just dyed it so long that everyone thinks it's actually blonde now. I'm going to get my hair cut and treat it in a couple of days. I'm going to get it done white. Uh, because I'm a degenerate. Oh, oh, get, get. Okay, stick figures. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Lucy, thank you for joining. Get, okay, the, the games. Games. Okay, in two, in three minutes, there could be games. <sighs> ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. 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 There could be games. There could be games. There could... There could be games. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Shit. Hang on. I need to put in the TTS so people can give me money because I'm greedy. Quick! Game Awards! Game Awards. Just, just delay it by a couple seconds. Imagine calling it the No Games Awards and you still haven't made Petscop 2. Come in Pyro. Shut the fuck up. Oh, are you joined? I'm live. I'm, I'm live right now. No slurs. Uh, yeah. I can't screen share it though, because uh, I'm doing it on my streaming PC. <laughs> Wait, where? In the comments or? 
I used to only watch Pyro but he mentions Charlie so much in his slop videos. I started watching Charlie and now only watch slop when Charlie doesn't talk about it first. Thank you, Anon. For the 10, go fuck yourself. Pyro, you, I noticed Evan, a sound 15. of a little round pack open in your recent video. Do you happen to take the funny snooze? Thank you, Sebi, for the 10. Do I take snus? No, that's bad for you. Wait, what? Which, uh... Which one? Which Sending one's much love from Queensland slash TB Horde. Tonight's the night. I'm on... Oh, is it actually? Hang on. No, no, they're both the same for me. Yeah, IGN's actually slower by, like, a... A singular second. He made bets cup two. He Imagine just if never they had uploaded it. The IGN stream and then the actual Game Awards stream just side by side, just to get the reaction in quicker. Is that one of those uh, videos that just has like GTA footage overlaid? Thank you, Lucky, for the ten. Yeah, I think Matthew didn't want to join because he's uh, trying to finish up entropy for tomorrow. So it will just be us. No, no, I can I can see on OBS. I can definitely hear you. They're they're trolling. There is one singular game. Oh, you can't. Shit. Oh hi. Wait, is it's it? Me. Oh wait, it's thirty minutes of woman talking before the games. Uh. I'll see if I can hang on. What I consider to be my favorite holiday of the season, the 2023 Game Awards. And just like New Year's Eve, our Game Awards opening act is as full of Yeah, I'm not I'm not actually celebration as the big event. Tonight, the Game Awards will celebrate the best in gaming from the past year. I don't know how to get you to like be heard. I can see like the bar moving for chat though. Hang on, it might be something I got to tick actually. Uh, for the first time ever, it is truly magical. Yeah. If they made Pets Cup for the PlayStation 5, then the PlayStation would finally have one game. Millions of gamers and fans and getting you all stoked for our big show. But before that, it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere of the night. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, let's hear it. Games. Hang on. It's gonna be fucking two hours of no game jokes. I already know. Okay, <laughs> I might have fixed you. Just, just test for a second. Hi. Can we, can we hear Dolan? Say something. Oh yeah, I can hear myself. Now. Okay, yeah, I just have to tick a box. It's horrible, man. Like when you open up OBS, there's like actually, it's like a fucking Chernobyl switchboard. There's like eighty tick boxes, and you gotta tick the right one, or you just fuck up all the audio. <laughs> 505. Yeah, you, no games. You missed the dono that was just saying no games. I'm pretty sure you're going to get like 20. The 30 minute slot was for yeah. you. Don't worry about it. Jeff told me. And it's all your own fault. Yes, uh, <laughs> someone commented saying the first thing we hear from Dolan is no games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Mudkips, the 20. 20 gifted. Damn, appreciate it. Thank you, Moth, for joining and D. Didn't this already come out? Isn't this that Brothers game? I just remember when Donkey got paid. Do you remember seeing when he got sponsored to do it and just said it sucks? That's shit. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To take and then the they pulled down. out the deal and stuff. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, it's a remake. It's over. Do we actually know? So if there is any actually games? no new games. It's just a remake of an already existing game. So already the the prophecy of there being no games is actually coming true. Why the fuck do they remake it? The graphics weren't like didn't need to be. You didn't even good. see anything up close, did you? Because it was all like top down. Best family game. Mario surely will win. Uh, it'll be a Nintendo one. It's always Nintendo. They're all they're all Nintendo. <laughs> Yeah, classic. The no game. Super Mario Brothers won the yeah. Year. What? The Mario game won? What? Oh yeah, that's right. That guy's called Bowser. 
I like how the other person called Bowser or, is like the one who shared is with sued all the by teams Nintendo. Nintendo that worked on Super Mario Brothers Wonder. In my experience, <laughs> the team really tried to develop a game that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends or it was family. And for me, people are saying turn the volume up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, family the game awards. Than trying to rescue. <laughs> but then uh, people are also an saying empire, you're muted. A, a so, you know. <laughs> stress from the evil likes of Bowser. Whether you're playing, whether you're playing as Elephant Mario, um, Peach, Yoshi. Do you reckon Adam, like 50 percent of the chance he got hired is just because his name's Bowser? <laughs> like the the Japanese at the office someone... were just like, yeah, let him in. Yeah, they won't admit Super it, but that's Brothers probably Wonder. why. It's like, yeah, he's, he's got decent qualifications, but his name's Bowser. Three world premieres in a row. What? First up is the next game from Daniel It'll be three Bullen, world the premieres, and they'll all be remakes. Independent game, Inscription. I'm trying to think what... Re I mean, to be fair, if it was a Bloodborne remake, I think I would not care. Like... That's, the evil likes of Bowser is crazy. And this man like, yes. has just been trying <laughs> to marry Peach for the past five games. Yeah, they just keep remaking the same thing with Mario. <laughs> oh, did you hear what they said? Oh, it's like the guy that made Inscription made this. Oh, what's so, this? So it'll definitely okay, have like a... a super deep ARG kind of thing. Has this, sh has this been shown anywhere else before? I think this might be one of the world premieres. I haven't seen they this put, before. They put, it, they put it in the pre-show with that no one fucking watches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks... Oh, it's kind of like a Factorio type thing. Well, oh, it's got Pro Z D in it. I see. <laughs> I actually wouldn't be surprised if every character in this game is voiced by him. Um, oh yeah, I, am I ahead of you or, like, tell me what's on your screen right now just so I can, like, sync up the voice. Huh? With you. Tell me what's on your screen so I can, like, delay oh. my thing if I'm ahead. You probably are ahead a little bit, I think. You said Pro Have you seen the before. game? Have you seen the game title yet? Yeah. New Minecraft update. Okay. Yeah, that'll definitely be next? a game within like five games, which will compensate <laughs> for no games. I'm trying to figure out what... Tell me when you see a big pair of lips on the screen. Yeah, I just saw it. Okay, so I'm only like a few, a few seconds ahead. I'll just pause and it should be good. Wait, did they have a Game Awards trophy in the game? Like they're just begging that much to win? <laughs> They're like, oh, we actually cameo at the Game Awards, so please let us win next year. Maybe. Oh, um, wait. Does that mean it's coming out on Netflix? You know how Netflix's mobile app has games on it now? It actually has more games than the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Golden Idol, the game that Colossal keeps shilling? Yeah, it's like the, um, I think you've played one similar to it. The, the puzzle game that's black and white and you're on like a pirate ship. Do you know what oh, I'm talking the about? Oh, the Overdin. Just... Yeah, that's the one. I'm pretty sure it's similar to that in a way. Sweet baby. He's baby. What's the time? Isn't it almost uh, 1 a.m. for you as well? Yeah, like 20 to 1. It's over. Holy crap, walking. This looks like fucking goodbye Volcano High vibes. Yeah. You know, just like something I would never play unless it was like free on PlayStation Plus. I mean, that's why it's in the pre-show. True. But then again, why'd they put the inscription one in there? Probably I didn't have like the budget to get in the actual, the main show. Because Daniel, oh, the, the games that Daniel Mullen makes all Slop don't Live is my favorite budget. YouTuber, bring him on on every stream pyro. Usual June. Someone said Slop Live. Thank you, Lucky, for the 20. Slop Live is my favorite YouTuber, bring him on every stream. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I love this is a one-off. Of 
monsters I fought weren't nearly I as paid big to be as here. You kids these days with your giant monsters and your social media. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now across 50 plus countries on TikTok. Check out the participating oh boy, gaming creators and don't forget to share all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. Gaming on TikTok. Okay, it's just going to be fucking hijacked by people posting soy jacks and shit, like ironically. Gaming on TikTok. I can't think of anything. anything yeah. more gaming on TikTok will literally just be toxic. people saying slurs in Warzone. And <clears throat> we breached the cosmic veil and reached a new planet. Yet generations later, What's this? this world remains untamed. Our reunion was oh, well, it's time. anime. All right. Yep. We, we had fun. Uh, here. Over. We had fun. Yep. Yep. It was it was good when it lasted. Yep. <laughs> uh, more flashy lights in anime. <laughs> Whenever I see these fighting games, I just always imagine like, you know, in the Batman games when you punch like a criminal, you'd like do like, you'd teleport. yeah, you'd home in from like five kilometers away <laughs> just to whack him in the face. It's funny because Spider-Man does the same thing, but at least it's explained because he actually has the webs. Batman just, just fucking does a punch from like 50 meters away. Did you see as well the, uh, the Bill Clinton kid was like, I'll see you at the Game Awards. Oh, yeah. There's no, like, nah, nah. there's no way he'd get in. Like, Jeff would literally yeah. kill him on the spot. Yeah, he definitely just trying to sigh so. up him, like, fuck with him or something. <clears throat> I, I could see him trying to get in, but they, there would be no chance. You know, he puts on, like, a big fake beard and a mustache or something. Shaves his head. What is this? It kind of looks like seafood. I yeah, I was thinking that. Isn't that game like really fucking hard? You like age um, every time you die I or something? Played it. Yeah, you age and it punishes, for, punishes you for dying. Or actually, no, I think you get better. It's just if you die too much, the you lose. What is did, this, World of Warcraft? Did update? you see that cope at the bottom of the screen being like, mix of gameplay and trailer and cinematic angles are used? <laughs> just, just, so you just have to say it's just not even gameplay then. Yeah, there's actually so many Warhammer games, it's unreal. You never played uh, Dark Tide, did you? Nah, yeah, cause, it kind cause of melds into one. The isometric ones like this just put me to bed, but like Dark Tide was like a first person one. That was alright, but yeah, it got boring like really quick. I, um, plus it's, I, I heard it was kind of similar to Deep Rock, but a worse Deep Rock. Yeah, 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 it was so definitely was worse. Like, yeah, I'm, I'll pass. <laughs> Rock and Stone! Rock and Stone! Uh, it streams a little behind for me, but... I guess that's just what streams do. Good thing for you that I am here then. What is this dishonored? Yeah, there's a bit of a delay on my stream. I can't pick uh, low latency because you got to stream at 1080p. But if I do that, it lags to shit for some reason. So I just do 2K. It's behind by like 10 seconds. I think. Hey, Byro, gonna go ask a bit. Two hours later. Hey guys, did I miss anything? <laughs> no. Cool. Uh, the whole chat is saying rock and stone now. Actually, I think it's just one guy. <laughs> did you see uh, someone just did a dono saying, Hey, Paro, I'm going to go AFK for a bit two hours later. Hey, guys, did I miss anything? No? Cool. <laughs> I mean, true. The, the only good thing will probably be announced at the end. I was surprised GTA didn't save the no didn't save the trailer for the no game awards but to be fair they're so big they don't even no, need they to don't leech need off it. it yeah they, they would be it. doing game awards a favor like welcome back to the like they got 100 million awards views in like 24 hours I'm still sydney goodman here with another award this time for innovation and accessibility imagine they give gta 6 like game of the year despite it not even coming out <laughs> like a, another year so, yeah. until like 2025 as well thank you jack for the 50. first time donating to a streamer and you donated to me i'm lucky <laughs> you should uh, look what they said watch your videos when you're doing mlg 
one You're my favorite female. Okay, fuck off. Everyone. Okay. These nominees are Is this that new leg of Fortnite? Diablo 4. I reckon, what are your kids getting innovation and accessibility? Innovation, uh... It'll be Spider-Man, right? Sony always gets these. Can't you just play that if you're blind? Street Fighter Six. I mean, you could play Last of Us 2 if you were blind. Oh, Forza had a... Yeah, I don't know. I guess, they, to be they fair, won you it. don't really have a choice. They won it because you can play it and not drive a car. That's it. I was gonna say I wouldn't ago, play games if I was blind, but then again, I'm not blind, so <laughs> I'd probably kill myself um, in Minecraft if I was blind. At this point, I think she is absolutely mocking her. By the way, holy shit! God damn! Mugged. Mugged. Oh no, they're just both mugging her. Yeah, it's over. Her. Oh, none of this would have they're probably both wearing heels, and she's just the one who decided to like, wear She's soul. like tits height. Effort. What the hell? Championing for accessibility and making this game the best that it can be. Big thank you to the UI team, actually mugs team, and our accessibility leadership team. The most and woman on screen ever in the, in the game. One, <laughs> probably the only three women in the room as well. Actually, we're really proud of the work that we've been able to do. So thank you very much. Thank you, okay for like, for 16. I like how some comments don't even try. Like, someone said Pyro is mad because the games aren't inflated. It's like, where they is They always do go? that. They always do that. I was playing Lethal Company yesterday and everyone was like, yeah, you got a fat mud installed. Okay, but that's that's based in reality. Uh, I don't remember. I have amnesia. I have retrograde amnesia. With stories that everyone can enjoy. They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. This is Someone said shut up, Donald. Yeah, I saw that. Time out for that one. Time out for <laughs> Imagine that one. you just log into Time him out. I think you've actually got mod in, access. Actually. Put user in time out. Okay. I, I, Why I does my favorite how long you put in time video so card Rex have no audio? Minutes. Wait, did Sorry, you time guy. him out just because he roasted? <laughs> I was trying to time him out That's for like two up. seconds. That's fucked up. It just, it just did five 1984. minutes. 1984. Sorry, man. Did you see that game, by the way, that like Square Enix made called The Quiet Man? And it's like a guy that's completely deaf. But it's like, Why are there there's so actually much no woman? sounds in the entire game at all. And the game was oh, actually like that. it's like the Spider-Man 2 side mission, if you saw that. No, what was that? Are uh, you players as... Uh, Miles' deaf girlfriend at some point, because you know they always have to ruin the gameplay with walking simulator, and you just can't hear anything because she's deaf. No, yeah, yeah, it's kind of similar to that, but that was the entire game. It's like a fighting game, but like yeah. whenever Where the characters the spoke, Game Awards woman, they just wouldn't say anything, and it just played like a ringing noise. And the game was that badly received that they were like, okay, we need to actually add voice acting now. Yeah, I was gonna say I like to think they finished the game and then they had no budget left no for money dialogue, left. so they're just like, let's make him deaf. Where is the fabled fourth Game Awards woman? Oh, she couldn't make it. There's only three this year. It's funny, they said they've got three world premieres, and then there's three women, so... Oh, coming to Netflix! I wonder if they... Woo! And Netflix. Game what Pass, the that's it. What the fuck is Netflix Honestly, up to? <laughs> They want games. They're all the, you know the best part is whenever it says that, you now know this game is going to be horseshit yeah. because it can run on a phone. I mean, it said Game Pass as well, so that was also telling. I don't... I know Faker. Yeah, I only know Faker on that. I'm just going to assume he wins because probably everybody just clicks on the name when they vote. Oh, is it like people vote on this? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, isn't that how the whole Game Awards works? Potter, Zonic, Gunba, Ecstasy, and Homie. And the Solely because his name's too. Homie. Ah. Uh. Harry, Harry Potter? I bet Did that's you why put he your won. name in he the eSports e Goblet of Fire? <laughs> oh, it's definitely going to be League. Just... Oh, it might actually be Valorant because Pokemon. Wait, what does that mean? She just plays like Valorant loads. She's probably got some pull at the, the Game Awards. 
It's a favorite game. Yeah, it's always league. It's always league. Harry Potter. <laughs> Best esports game. Oh, don't be Valorant. I'd rather it be PUBG Mobile. Just please don't be Valorant. It'll be CS though. Not League again. Valorant. Fuck off. Oh, how much pull does Pokemane have at this show? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's awful. It's such a bad game. Pokemane somehow holding up Valorant. She gave everyone at the Game Awards one of those cookies she was selling, so they all voted. JD Someone Gaming? Is that JD Sports? Hire to, to turn off his webcam so there's no eyesore on the screen. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way back to the mid 1800s. But before you can think too hard on that, it's time for another two world premieres. Two world premieres. First up is the latest game from a team that won at the Game Imagine they put Silk Song in the fucking pre roll. I think we can press them to crush it again. This is when. Do you reckon we're getting Silk Song this year, by the way? Probably, yeah. Sure, surely. Surely Silk Song. Yeah, that's what I've said the last four years. Thank you, Jack, for the 20. Oh, it's a fairy game. It's over. This is definitely a Matthew game. It like, is a Matthew game. If he game. wasn't cool, he would be soy facing. Yeah. It kind of looks kind of similar to, like, what, like the Hades style? It's like Dead Cells, right? Ah. Oh, yeah. I literally, yeah, I just said Dead Cells. <laughs> Have you heard of it then? Dead Cells, I haven't played it, but yeah, I heard no, it. No, no, I mean, um, this game. No. How do you know it was by Dead Cells? It, it, just, it just reminded me of the same art style. Okay. Oh, true, they use all that in their, um, promotionals. You're one of the, more seriously, you are one of the YouTuber that made me strive to learn English, ESL. And I'm glad that I'm able to achieve it. So sincerely, thanks. I will never send a single penny to you ever again, unlucky. Thank you, Jack <laughs> Mortu. King of the ESLs, I appreciate Thanks, it. Jack for the broken English. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I learned English and it's just so broken. This actually looks kind of cool. Is it, it looks kind of like one of those din dungeon craw crawler games. Well, the, the dev team aren't even hiding that they're all just fairies now, basically. Wind blown. There's a game on the PC. What the hell? There's one game, and it's an indie <laughs> game again. Isn't Thumper that weird yeah, the horror game, game where you play as a beetle? Yeah, that horror game where you're on the, the track going left and right and stuff. Can they just make Guitar Hero again? I don't care about this. Your chat is just Cope Awards and one Game Award. <laughs> How exactly one, does one the Game, game Awards award. presentation work? Yeah. Do they present Gitty last? I'm at work hard and I kinda really I just hear wanna hear gonna, what Gitty is instead of Slop. Game, uh, game Full awards? offense to you uh, Pyro Slop hero. and no offense to Slop Live. Are you Paris, the 10? Uh, yeah, they usually do the actual game awards of like game of the year at the end and then at the very very end they usually tease like one game that people actually give a shit about yes thrasher in case you didn't know is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds this is where they just give away all the shit awards right i'm so excited we've got another mind-bending game coming from him in 2024 cheapest Special game award to samsung and samsung gaming hub who not to brag are also throwing a massive game awards viewing party over at samsung's new york city flagship location with typical gamer and chica a few people are still saying you should turn up the game the awards I tried to clone myself, a bit I a pretty sizable <laughs> fire in the by the MIT way experimental physics lab oops but who's but typical gamer again later. let's check out what samsung is coming out with now. no games um did you hear by the way oh that guy saying that the game awards is a bit slow um low yeah yeah i just had it up Play 3,000 games, but there aren't any. There's no games. You in? Samsung. Why the fuck is everyone doing gaming now? Samsung. Because it's gaming money. Hub, money. Netflix gaming. 
Yeah, they're just doing great. Yeah, they're just doing great. When I first watched Bet Skip and him still waiting for the sequel, I graduate in a year. Foghorn. Damn, you graduate in a year? Holy shit, you poor bastard. Life is gonna get so much harder. He's my life. Last one. Go for it. Yeah, I never played a Persona game. I just know the fan base behind it is fucking insane. That's like most anime games. I always saw the ratings were really high, but it just didn't really appeal to me. Because it's kind of like what, like you a battle sim or like Pokemon, and then you spend your life at high school in between. I was like, ah, I don't care. I just want a game. <laughs> That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> Persona. <laughs> you just yawn. Bedtime. <laughs> Next. The game is that better than intentionally trying to slice it. Fight when you know it's hopeless. In fact, I don't even really have a good reason. Is it Why will Dono not admit he is five persona? foot two? Are you or anyone just simply existing gives our lives Thank you, Chanka, for the ten. Why will Dolan not admit he's five foot two? Uh, I met him in person. He's like seven foot. He mugs me. That's the same fucker in the, uh, to be honest, Discord that doesn't go, keeps going on about it. I was like, I'm pretty sure he's projecting. <laughs> there must actually be like 40 Persona games now. It's insane. Yes, I was hoping for a new Persona, a new Persona game that is. I still want to be Sydney. Jesus, but enough about me. Bad. Make sure to stay tuned as Google and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 are bringing you a spectacular celebration of mobile gaming. It's going to be an epic event just like this. Uh, I didn't even realize she's reading an auto prompt. It's a product of a surprise team up. I mean, it kind of makes sense though. Games tonight. Let's check it yeah, out. Yeah, they just go, can you go up on stage and just <laughs> make well, you it remember up? when Jesse Wellens went on there, right? And he's like, thank you Nick, uh, for having me. Yeah, I never played this. I, I bought it and never touched it. Apparently, it's oh, pretty is this good. Dave I literally just lied Dredge and told something. my work I was oh, sick so I could wait, watch you what? complain about this no games. Dot also, when are you going to cosplay as your game is a cup girl? Definitely. The the game of subs cup is out tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, it's Dave. The, wait. Oh, it's a Dave the Diver Dredge collab. Ah. Okay. Did you play the actual okay. Dave the Diver thing? I haven't played. I heard it's good. I've only played Dredge. I can't believe it. It's almost time for our big show. Yeah, it was confusing. I was like, "That's Dave the Diver," but I, the, the music was from Dredge. Think over all the oh, that's kind of cool. But I have to keep it together because I have the next award ready to go. Here are your nominees for Content Creator of the Year. Quackity's surely Iron gonna Mouse. win, right? People make uh, Iron Mouse. Quackity. I don't know anime. Screen. And it will definitely be has, like, Iron Mouse army. or Quackity. And the game award goes to. Uh. Iron Mouse. Wow. Who's Iron Mouse again? So, uh, Iron Mouse big VTuber screams a lot. Iron Mouse is animated, and sadly, we're not in the Matrix. Uh, to be fair, if, if this was yeah, like, I didn't realize, I didn't it, realize they were a VTuber. Yeah, that's a guaranteed win. So if this was like Espanol Game Awards, Quacky would win. Of the Content Creator of the Year Award. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest heartfelt gratitude to the incredible community this is the that world has gathered around in. my streams. And I also it's mental though, isn't it? Like, never shows her face or anything, but still has just such a huge audience. It's actually just me with a voice changer. It's you? I knew it. Yeah, I'm Iron Mouse. I knew it. Chat, you heard it at first. Iron Mouse is just Dolan with a voice changer. Okay, we're getting so close to yeah, I remember show, when Iron Mouse did a meetup, but no, it wasn't. She wasn't even there. She was. It was just a screen uh, on the screen. That people yeah, they do that a lot of Never underestimate Gunas. Gunas. Too 
3D boy. Oh, that's the company. It's actually a slot game, what the hell? <laughs> Slop simulator, what the hell? Oh wait, I need to post that the the gamer subs cup is coming out in like a day. <laughs> Wait, when is your video out? Isn't it out in like uh tomorrow? So and like twenty hours, so sort of watch. thing. Almost as satisfying as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. We have one more huge world premiere: a brand new fantasy RPG from the creators of Persona Three, Four, Another and Persona Five. Another Persona game, they're by the way. A into the How are there so many? Characters and gameplay. Let's do this. It's a story about a world very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists, much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is Apparently, a if you're watching in China, you can win a PS5 every 10 minutes. The fool of a king is dead! Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Fortress at the border was raised by a human mere days ago. You can only blame your king's weakness. Who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength. The people of my land desire a new king, and I shall <laughs> provide. Welcome one and all. The sun stream. Oh, did he get up out of his chair? No, he's on his phone. <laughs> no, I'm trying to post the waifu cup on Twitter. All right. The speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing. Well, oh, you're not missing anything, it's just another yeah, just persona. Persona game. It tells of a world united as one tribe. If only our lives were anything like the world we know. Our lives are decided at birth. Imagine if they pumped out, like, Souls games this often. There was a plot in his life. Nora was. You're no ray of hope. You gave up on your hopes. But I will not. Now let's see what manner of story you'll be. Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Okay, my friends, that is it for our opening act, but we are Oh, I thought that was it. Yeah, that's it for the Game Awards, guys. Thanks for joining. <laughs> we we shown some anime <laughs> games. <laughs> that's it. Have a good and night. Fuck off. Because this show is absolutely They'll probably stacked. announce the Elden Ring DLC, right? Surely. Surely we get a little guest, crumb. A legendary actor and performer of both the stage and screen, the Muppet himself, the great Gonzo. I have to admit, I'm freaking out. I'm completely starstruck. This, doesn't this, this go for like the three hours? The show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge way tonight. <clears throat> okay, thank you all for going on this journey with me. You're the best companions a host could ask for. Let's do the boss level. The Damn, you got 5k watching. Game Awards is that good? Now. Uh, it's alright. It's not her sound level. <laughs> One day. Oh, yeah. The reason Maybe why Iron Mouse barely shows her face is because she has a health condition. Yeah, I know that. Now, She's got like an autoimmune host, thing, like she can't really go outside and shit. Oh. My man, Jeff! Let's go! Why is there a guy in like night armor? Did you see that? <laughs> Good it's evening, fucking everyone. it's the welcome to the game it's awards. that guy the bill clinton kid the, the game Night awards Hour. the Tonight game awards 10th tga a global celebration of video games and boy 
do we have a show for you i am so excited to get this started. imagine he's like checking Together, his peripherals the whole time just hoping the bill clinton kid doesn't like run up on the stage he's like ptsd he might actually be a little bit noided from that lineup of world premieres more than anything this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree get Bill Clinton on. Clinton as a special nothing guest. more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Bro, I'm gonna have to stick the gamer subs cup on the uh, in the corner of the stream. Great games People are just gonna say it's us, shilling. Help us understand different perspectives on the world and maybe even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games. The actual things Get, we play wait, games? are insanely special. I thought, I thought there wasn't any games. For the next few hours, <laughs> and we've got such an amazing group of people with us. They're built. They by could announce like 200 cars of slot. And many of them Silk Song is one of them. Tonight. We will Mr. win. Newman, Mr. Well, Great I win. to see you back after winning Game of the Year in 2017 for Breath of the Wild. Good right, luck I gotta, tonight. I gotta do the shill. There we go. One of our industry's greatest uh, yeah. creative and technical forces, Mark Cerny, PlayStation's lead system architect, celebrating 25 years of Cerny Games. Thank you for being here, Mark. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. I've, I've got an add in, guys. I'm Everyone's really sorry. Here. I'm really sorry. Melina Jurgens, our best performance. <laughs> I got a, I got a shill. We're on 5K viewers. Blade. Welcome. I think we'll be seeing you a little bit later tonight. And we are also honored to be joined by the Tujimoto family, Haru and Ryozo, who are celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year and a Game of the Year nomination for Resident Evil. Welcome oh, yeah, back. So great to have you with us. It now, won't we win. Have a What's big winning Gate so right? Let's get yeah. right into it. To present tonight's first award is last year's winner of Best Performance. Please join me in welcoming back to the Game Awards. Yep, we're going to do it. The actor behind Kratos in God oh, of War, no. Christopher Judge. <laughs> oh, he's well, actually going to talk. Like, he's going like to talk for like no two games. years. He's definitely going to do a bit where he's like self-aware how long he talked though. They're already playing into it. He just pointed at his watch. <laughs> The yapper. The yapper. There are no games for the game awards. It'd be funny if he just said hi and then left. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year, Mr. Pacino. Yeah, I didn't have great memories. Forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> He's gonna get lifted off into heaven. No, they're, they're playing him off already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, I get it, I get it. I'm not gonna stand up here making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. No eight minute speech like last year, but fun fact. The actual god of yapping. My speech was actually longer than this year's god Call of, of Duty campaign. <laughs> okay, that was, a good, that was a good one. What did he say? He said his speech was longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. Okay, true. It's like three hours long. Uh, uh, another company I'll never work for. Uh, <clears throat> I'm here to present the award for best performance. <laughs> best speech, and he gives it to games. himself. Beloved by audiences <laughs> and acclaimed by critics, these actors delivered six unforgettable performances and here are the nominees what was this for uh, best yeah. performance revenge is a weapon oh i, I met that Sony guy no. i met that guy in somnia ben star that's right yeah he was really nice surely i idris will just win because it's idris idris elba yeah Wake has a double a star they won't ever control me again. Uh, a Yuri did a pretty good um, job. I reckon Yuri or um, Idris. Yuri just sounds like every anime Whoever voice actor. Wins. Oh, wait, Jeff Ben's actually there. Okay what the fuck? Say, That's so weird. Take as long as you want to. <laughs> They've just got a still image for Idris. He died. Anything in your life. And I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. 
And the award goes to Neil Newbar. Ah, oh, Baldur's Gate. I should have known, actually. Who's the guy that voice acted Joel? He just looks like his brother. Uh, Troy Baker. Troy Baker, yeah. I guess to be fair with Baldur's Gate, the amount of dialogue they had to record is insane. Yeah. That that game will definitely get game of the year. Like, there, there's no way it won't. Uh, I think everyone's kind of accepted it too, you know, like, because like, it deserves it. <laughs> um, this is unreal. Um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> Well, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, people on Twitter right now. So they let a man with painted in. fingernails win at the Game uh, Awards. Actors, the nominees, <laughs> unbelievable. Or like the woke awards. <laughs> I'm boycotting. Woke awards. Thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian. He's got uh, eyeshadow on too. Uh, to uh, Pitstop, who worked so hard, the director. I mean, he did play actors, a gay vampire, so, so, you know. Incredible actors that gave it heart and soul. Uh, oh, was he gay? I thought he was whatever you wanted. I thought he was whatever you wanted him to be. And yeah, he's gay. I'm just going to say that. He's canon, he's gay. Oh, they're, they're playing the wrap-up okay. music. <laughs> they don't, they don't want like a Mike Judge too. But he's barely been speaking. They must be trying to push him along. Alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all and to you i want to say thank you so much for seeing it's us. a really nice speech but then you just zoom in on the old man in the night armor it just makes no sense none of us are thank you <laughs> mike judge just whispers in his ear you could have spoke a bit more if you wanted to someone said gay of the year it was all <laughs> just so gay fucking dry great speech <laughs> It's short, so thank you. Uh, there are lots more awards to come, but now it's time yeah, to look Baldur's ahead. Yeah, Baldur's Gate will sweep. Like, you know how next. when Let's Ragnarok won about 50 premieres. fucking awards last the year? Honor of yeah. Presenting our first one, it's an incredible thrill to introduce a true Renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times best selling author, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, shit. I was so uh, worried they were going to say J.K. Rowling. How are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure <laughs> she had to turn up to me. She would actually get booed. She would actually get booed. Best selling Go author, JK Rowling. Good to be here. What's up, everybody? Good to be here with you at the Game Awards. And I was going to come out and I was going to say. Have any of you seen any games? My career. All right, all right, all right. But they told me. They said, no, no, no. Don't do that. Do I like how that's say. his bit. It's like the guy that she, played Shane in The Walking she, Dead. And like everything she, he appears, he just goes, let me tell you something. All right, we'll see how that <laughs> Let me how tell how you that, something. How that ends. I'm here tonight because I have a world premiere for you from Austin. Is he going to be in the game or is he just here? Because... Well, let's hope not because last time they had a celeb game that was that crime boss Rock A City slot. The that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. Oh, no. Interstellar, the mobile game. When the Archetype team first reached out to me, I was excited about becoming a part of the game. It's like world, Silk but Song. What really turned or me on was when they Silk shared Song. the game's vision and my role in it. I will be voicing. Character uh, voicing is okay. And all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. In this so game, he's gonna fuck. time moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices oh, that you make actually not game. only affect the people that you love, they'll also affect your entire civilization for generations to come. Now, personally, I have had some experience with time dilation. And now you can too. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. Just into cell with a different name. <clears throat> Max, we need to head back. Max, where did you go, Max? What she found that day <laughs> was a miracle. It would be it? our salvation no. to fight against the Celestials, humanity's greatest enemy. Why do they always go for that 
look. You know, just like the smooth robot look. Just futuristic. <laughs> yeah. They found us. Stay down. The Celestials. They're always called the Celestials. I think that's what they were called in I know Horizon. They keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. I led them away from this world. Away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. Starfield ripoff. days for me. But an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. Well, she's dead now. Unlucky. You could actually just tell me that this is like a Our Destiny service. expansion or something. Our sacrifice discovers worlds, <laughs> seeds hope, breaks empires. We are the travelers. Oh, we actually have gameplay. Yeah. I hate it though, right? Because it's like... That looks good, but I also don't care at all. You know, you know what I mean? Why? Like, I will never play that game, but like... Oh, right. That is a very exciting I'll play it if it reviews well. Mass Effect vibes, and I appreciate the team sharing the first glimpse of gameplay. Uh, at the end there looks great all right well now we're gonna go right on to another world premiere yeah it'll probably get like a seven and be lost and forgotten to time the god of yapping starfield ripoff i don't know about that one i don't think it was the starfield ripoff wait when are they announcing deep woken on the game awards when are they announcing deep woken it is Oh, damn. So this will come out to PC in like seven years? <laughs> yeah, there was a rumor they were going to do a standalone smaller game. But I was like, if you have to play as Atreus, I do not care. Why exactly are we doing this? So this is a main entry, but it's a smaller game? Like what, like a DLC? Yeah, like, you know, like, like Miles Morales, you know how that game was like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what just happened. But I heard the rumor and was like, if it's an Atreus game, I don't think anyone's going to buy it. Yeah, that. I think they kind of knew that themselves, to be fair. Could you imagine that they only announced this game just as a cutaway if Mike Judge was speaking too much? They just. Mike they, they just. Isn't it Chris Judge? <laughs> What's his name? Isn't it Mike Judge? Christopher Judge. Oh, Christopher. El Hala. What was the last one called? Ragnarok? Why? What? That's fucking four days. Okay, oh, it's free DLC. Uh, Still, that's Keno. Still, that's kind of Keno. That is good. I will still not be buying a PS5, but that's good. <laughs> you already have one, didn't you? I broke it on stream. A very nice Smashed it. Holiday surprise from PlayStation. <laughs> Kratos and Mimir are headed to Valhalla in an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, I do like unexpected, and fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it Rogue is light. free. Oh, they're just the doing what they're doing Santa with Monica the Studio. Last of Us 2 remastered then. It's a good um, artificial Ragnarok game Valhalla time extender, though, the if they do it well. Be able to download yeah. It in just five days on December 12th. As long as it's not like the fucking Far Cry ones where Amazing. they had no reason to All be right, roguelikes. switching gears. Our next world premiere comes from a small independent team of developers in Australia. I Wait. this show can give a platform to independent creators. It's... Their last game in 2019 okay, it's not was Silk a Silk Song, and their next project is is that all you is that all you hyped about just silk song? I don't care who Sony sends. I don't sends. really know what else. I am not buying a PS5. Oh, the titled Goose Game. Oh, 
No, I don't have any friends, so this doesn't apply to me. <laughs> it's gonna be like the untitled parrot game or some bullshit. <laughs> Someone's getting pushed off a cliff when that game comes up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go, mate. You fucking Lorda. It's quite different to the Untitled Goose game. <laughs> have to be Australian to play the game, you have to have an accent. <laughs> Fucking dog! I mean, it looks, like, interesting. It's so much better than just seeing the same anime fighting, yeah. fighting slop. Like, sure, it might, it's called Big Walk, it's probably the biggest fucking walking simulator <laughs> in the world, but... <laughs> Thank you, Super Max, fun, for joining. Right? I did a play test of that game about a year ago and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game, and I'm honored we got to share it with you here at the show. All right, while you're watching TGA, head to TGA Steam Deck. If you buy the special right edition now, of the game, you can run. Another Steam Just so you can beat the game quicker. Time, it's the brand new one terabyte yeah, Steam Deck OLED big featuring woke. HDR OLED display. <laughs> Enter now only during the live show at TGASteamDeck.com for a chance to win one of 100 OLEDs. All right, trust me, we are just getting started, guys. There are so many game announcements, awards, and musical performances ahead, including the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be right back. I'm here to save a prince. Are you now? Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. Prince Hassan? You are to leave for Mount Calf at once. Bring him back. Bring back my son. It's strange. It's a maze here, but I feel I've walked this path before. Farah, you were right. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Is this like a Prince of Persia spin-off or some shit? How am I still alive? Hmm. You seem stronger, but not strong enough to save a friend yet. <laughs> Are you courageous <laughs> enough and clever well, enough to save your chair. friend? I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, it's actually Prince of Persia. Why does it look like a PS3 game? Hello, Byro. It's the birthday car crash guy. I know it's not my birthday anymore, but can I get your cup guaranteed for my not birthday? Tom, if you hand over money for the cup, you'll definitely get it guaranteed. Lego Fortnite. I do like how they just made Minecraft in Fortnite. Yeah, I saw Dr. Disrespect like molding on Twitter about this saying like it's for kids and it's like, yes. <laughs> it's Fortnite, like what'd you expect? Really? Fortnite and Lego. You know what was cool is they pretty much made every single skin 
a Lego variant, like a thousand five hundred skins. Is it a limited event or is it just actually part of the game now? No, it's like a full full on thing now, like a side um a side game. I mean the destruction looks cool though. Game Award winner for Best Performance, Ninja Theory's Melina Jurgens. <laughs> Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, I'm proud to introduce to you to one of my favorite bands, Heilung. got back i didn't realize we we're watching the music awards they always have these though don't they for every no game awards oh yeah but normally like near the end we've had what one game and now they're doing a music performance it's to celebrate that they've actually got a game <laughs> the rest of the show is just just music what happened to that hellblade game do you remember it was getting a sequel I didn't know anything. This kind of reminds me of it. Oh, well, she was... Did she say something about that? She was someone who worked on it? <laughs> Nobody cares Carty dropping soon? No, he's not. He's not dropping. A game are the graphics just really good yeah this is gta 6 <laughs> this is all like an incantation to ward off the bill clinton kit so it doesn't storm the stage <laughs> they're like selling their soul to the devil for there to finally be a single killer game the caveman awards Thank you, Scarities, for the 12 months. Oh, it is Hellblade. They said it. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. The woman, the woman worked for them from memory. Someone asked, is this Blade Lady? No. It is. They're actually singing in tune, so no, it's not Blade. If it was off key, it would be. Yeah. Pre-rendered sad face. <laughs> <laughs> I've dreamt of this. Oh, a game, a game, a game, a game, a game, a game. This place of fear and fury. An actual game is among us. Hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. I look like the Mary Jane Spider-Man 2 <laughs> character. No, don't say for Spoken 2, because the first Hellblade was actually good. Was that the one that was in... Fate 
that's an allergy for depression or is that a, like uh, schizophrenia but, or something i think yeah schizophrenia that's right Yeah, do you remember in the first one, you'd have that rot that spread up your arm and it, like if you died too many times, the game would end, but it never actually ended. Uh, I never played it. Yeah, because you, you had like a rot on your arm and the game basically said if every time you die, the rot will spread up your arm more. And if it reaches your head, it will kill you. But the rot never actually spread. It was just to kind of fuck with you to make you think, OK, if I die too many times, I'm going to lose my save file. So it'll probably be DLC, or are you reckon a sequel? Nah, nah, it's, they've already said, that they announced this like years ago, but this is a new trailer. Ah, uh, right. It doesn't look too bad. It, it's a very like superficial game, but yeah, it looked amazing. I like how it was kind oh, of was open ended if she died. Was it actually an Xbox exclusive? No. They actually got a game. It says Steam as well. Oh, yeah, but you know, like. <laughs> you know, you wise. know. Yeah, to be fair, anything that comes out on X, X Bottom always comes out on PC as well. Yeah. All right, what an amazing Dude, they got Taylor Swift here. The gameplay and World of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Now to present our next award. The one guy Please that cheered for Game Pass. Former Game Award winner nominated tonight for Best Fighting Game. The creative director of NetherRealm Studios. Oh no, the Boom. first one's out on the PlayStation as well. Anyway, never mind. The best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for Best Narrative got us all in their drama, in their characters, and yes, sometimes in some weird stuff we can't explain. Here are the nominees. Best narrative. In a horror story. Ellen Wake victims. too. I mean, that'll, that'll probably win. Oh wait, no, maybe Boulder's Gate. I imagine if Boulder's Gate just mobs Although, they win every single award. They might, but to be fair, there's so many narratives, right? It wouldn't really make sense for Baldur's Gate. Spider-Man, I should leave. There's no Probably way Spider-Man wins. Like, all of those are contenders yeah, nah. except Spider-Man. Yeah, there we go. That's what Sam Lake, here he comes! I've heard Alan Wake 2's story is really good, but like, no one ever talks about the gameplay. So it's like, hmm. It's funny because he plays one of the characters that's voiced by an American, but when you hear him now, just oh. finish mode. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I am from... <laughs> no, he's from Wake. Finland. Uh, yeah, actual from Finnish. The beginning was a very story focused. It was very good. Us. I share this with the whole narrative team. Did writers, you guys know that I was uh, Max Payne Tyler, in the first Max Payne game? Designers who made the story into gameplay, Simon, Molly, the whole narrative team, uh, directors working with actors on C. <laughs> you should do the face. Uh, Hannah, Rosie, the Max Payne face. Holly, yeah, imagine uh, if he does it. All the wonderful actors here tonight. Some of also, them his voice broke. Be, it's over. Uh, Entire speech I want and validated. It's broken too. <laughs> Matt He's probably Gage, sick of doing that face, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's o the only thing anyone actors, ever asks him to and, do. And the song makers who made custom music, custom songs to extend the story here tonight, later. Poets of the Wallace. Damn, they set up the music fast oh, now. Uh, this road, every song Is that basically the fuck off music? music uh, yeah, they, I think they, they play it Thank you. as a cue, but uh, then they'll actually make it. We impossible wanted to, to hear him push he keeps things going. further to do something new and it's always a risk for you to embrace it and understand it means so much i'll treasure this always thank you it was a good speech but yeah the voice cracked for me off and i ignored all of it sorry <laughs>
<laughs> as soon as he went, Frank, it was over. <laughs> it's like it was such a heartfelt speech, but then one voice crack. Yeah, I, I, it's over. I forgot. They really, but yeah, they played after like 30 seconds. It's like, come on, let them talk a little bit. Well, they're scared after Chris Judge, like, just waffled on for yeah. nine years. How did this go again? I swear they stopped the music and then he went for another four minutes or something. What was he even talking about again? I do not remember. Yeah, just yapping. <laughs> you may have recognized that incredible creator who built her own independent studio in Tokyo, and she wanted to show you what she's been working on before she's even signed it with a publisher or a platform. I said, come to this show, just show it to the audience and the fans first. So that's what we're going <laughs> to do. We're show a game that isn't even finished. Go on. Please It'll give be a good. warm welcome to Akumi Nakamura. Is this someone who's done games before? Oh no, this was the girl that made... I think this is the same girl that made that Ghostwire Tokyo. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. It was a whole team, wasn't it? No, no, but she left after that. <laughs> Chat, is it is it the girl that did Ghostwire Tokyo? The really soy one, or...? Super excited to be on this stage. Oh, it is okay. her. Thank you. Oh, yeah, chat's oh, saying okay. it is her. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because she did Ghostwire Tokyo <laughs> with Bethesda and then just fucked off and, like, started her own studio, like, you know, just Kojima artist. moment. All right. <laughs> but it's funny because, like, she's so, like, emotive. She's just going to get, like, all the, the white soy men just clapping in the audience. Oh, my God, anime's real. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's already won me over. Today, I am honored to introduce our first project. Someone's saying speak English. She's literally speaking English, you fucking idiot. time, the unseen. Bye bye. It's like stray. Like it's straight funny because like, if, like if a man went on the stage and did that, you'd think, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're sick in the head. Dude, I thought I thought I had to like leave stream for like ten minutes. Ah, uh, my my insides were hurting, man. I I had so much habanero sauce today. You need to stop. It looked kind of cool. I mean, it didn't show too much, but yeah, I thought I had to like run off for ten minutes and leave you to like host. Because I, I thought I was going to die on the fucking toilet. Project tonight. Thank you You're not going to miss out. anything. Tonight, it's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big established <laughs> franchises. And while we all love a big sequel... It's, it's not lost on me that we haven't announced like any TV games yet. To ...brand new worlds <laughs> like what you just saw with Murray and like this project. Oh. My sister Private Division? Who did that? Who did that? She sings like Didn't Private Division do... Returnal? No. I like be like, let me keep eating this thing that makes me sick for multiple years. Yeah. True. I like spicy awesome. food. They did Silk Song. No, they didn't. Yeah, so disabled. <laughs> yeah, they did Silk Song. Yeah. Guys, stop saying Sea of Thieves. It's not Sea of Thieves. This actually looks playable. <laughs> oh, Ori. Oh. Ori. Oh, that's. Yeah. I still haven't played that yet. I heard it was really good. Well, there's two of them as well. Is it, is it bad to say that as soon as it cut to like isometric, I just lost interest? Yes. I lost interest as soon as I saw them climbing. <laughs> I 
Literally see of thieves. If it was see of thieves, you'd see a guy with one of the megaphones just screaming slurs at someone to another ship. I like how Ori got a sequel and probably a spin off type game before we got Silk Song. You have terrible taste, Pyro from Colossal. You have terrible taste? How do I have terrible taste? That's I mean, no you just wrote it off because it was RPG isometric. Studios, yeah, it's boring. Information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the Wicked Inside What does Colossal show? play so I can roast him? I don't know. He just plays like... I can't even say he plays old games because that's all I fucking play as well. Legion Go gaming yeah. handhelds, a Windows 11 gaming I mean, he plays hand. lots of indie games. Legion.com before the end of the show to enter for your chance to win. And he plays Northgard. Here's a look at the Legion Go in action. <laughs> Colossal, do you want to join call? Or are you just going to like write and chat? Red spoken to. Oh my god, Game Pass. Yes, Starfield! Oh my god. The only way Starfield's getting into the Game Awards is in an ad. Oh, Colossal said he's writing in bed, you lazy bastard. But there's still so much more to discover. That's the most colossal thing ever, by the way. Just talking shit and he's like just sat in bed. I like it. You know, the best part is it's like 8 p.m. in Mexico. Yeah. He's old though. Like <laughs> old people go to bed at 8 p.m. There's no way they had Fallout 76 on the trailer for Game Pass. There's no way. Well, they gotta put something in there, man. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck, as in good luck to find a fucking game. To be fair, apparently they put Fallout New Vegas on Game Pass. But again, it's like nearly 20 year old game. Uh, Avatar. Oh, I played this today on stream. It's so, oh, dude, why? it is every Far Cry game ever. It's so boring. Yeah. It looks yeah. good, though. It, it looks good, but yeah. fuck me, Colossal. it's boring. TBH voice chat. Now. I heard it had potential, but then they just put guns and Far Cry. In it. Yeah, because they, they do the thing. They've got this thing in the Avatar game, which they stole from the worst Far Cry game, uh, Far Cry New Dawn, where it's like, you have to do side missions to level up. Because if you don't level up and you do a main mission, you just get rolled by enemies. So I was getting rolled, right? I just put the difficulty down to easy and just like stomped everything, even though they were like seven levels higher than me. But they have made us yeah, I think it, it got like a 74 or something. Metacritic. Yeah, apparently it got like the 120th lowest rated game of the year or something on PC. Hold on, hold on. This is mm -hmm. Good day, sir. You're just a what is this? You can't Why is there an ad for Discord? It's battle. like everyone I will be literally a in a VC player. on Discord right now. I write you, you, you know what I like? Here. I like how this UI they've got is before they rolled out that banker. shitty update today as well. <laughs> Whatever that was fucking sucked. We have been saying it all Did you see how many people, really did you see like they lost so much revenue beginning. because people are canceling their nitros the because of just how dog shit the new update is? To welcome from the, the mobile one. That's right. I can't even Frick use it on my out. phone anymore. It fucking oh. sucks. Why have they got more? <laughs> hey, I was about to say, what sort of moron is called the Great Gonzo? Hey, buddy, <laughs> the fucking for, uh, Muppet uh, came on. When are you going to play Walking Dead Destiny New Game Plus? It adds fat zombies. I thought you would like fat, smelly zombies. I well, might be wrong, I though. Think. Thank you, Shadow, for the tent. Yeah, there's no new game plus on this. So, Gonzo, what have you been playing? Seriously, what have you been playing? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Gonzo's, Gonzo's buying, buying everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, All right, that was a good one. You got me. Well played, Jeff. <laughs> well played, yeah, well, Jeff, but you. I'm Seriously, fucking though, your wife. What have you been playing, Gonzo? <laughs> well... Lots and lots of well played, Jeff. But I've actually lined C4 explosive under everyone's seat, <laughs> and I'm gonna press the fucking trigger. The cupola up a hill. I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really. I wonder if Tears of the Kingdom will actually win anything. I assume best action adventure game, right? That's right. You do love your chicken, so I guess that was your favorite part. What did you think of the ending? 
Oh, I never get past that cuckoo mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. <laughs> All right, well, any other great gaming highlights this year for you, Gonzo? Are you kidding? Actually, if you have the time. Hey, you, you guys got a minute? <laughs> I'd like to well, show we're you waiting for a game, so yeah, we got a minute. All revolve around one central theme. Check this out. <laughs> what is this? You got the case uh, is, yeah, I see Crash Bandicoot. And... You've uncovered. I know, I know. You probably think I'm obsessed with chicken. Oh, yeah, it's like a chicken and Crash Bandicoot. Beyond this one and then Minecraft oh, yeah, that's chicken. In, um, it's a I mean, skin yeah, in I Crash think we're all Bandicoot that. Four. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what do you think, Zelda? Let's what is happening? <laughs> Do you see how one of the notes on the board says random and hilarious? Unbelievable. Like, right. yeah. Here are the nominees for best debut oh, I'm just indie game. <laughs> well, they reckon if they distract game. us enough with Muppets, they won't have to announce a game, so. Oh, yeah. Dunkey did a video on Cocoon and I could not watch it. I reckon Pizza Tower's got it in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, that was like mad popular. Bridge was like pretty cool, but also kind of boring. Oh, Viewfinder was cool. I feel as free as a cuckoo. Yeah! Are they fucking? <laughs> They're definitely fucking. Ganzo's right, excited Gonzo. to crank Thank 90s you, with his new Peter now Griffin the skin. <laughs> the game goes to... Pizza Tower. Cocoon. Cocoon. I don't even know anything about Cocoon. I just saw Dunkey oh, had a video. Oh, did you on see it. the Pizza Tower devs? They were just like, well, fuck. They just looked it's at each a... other like, yeah, we lost. Huh. Wait, let me. You might not remember me, but when you were streaming cool. Darkwood, I sent a dono telling you about a date I have the next day, and you wish me good luck. Since then, me and the guy Why have gotten together, so and we've been dating for a month. The thank you. Does she, anyone she see wanted, how unhappy that woman looks that pizza, they won? She wanted Pizza Tower to win. <laughs> and to Yeppy, thank you for Matt, the dono, Iris. And Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful partner on this game. Thank you. They've been dating for a month? Oh, that's sick. You should get them to send me the money. The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. the best mobile game of 2023, but which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024? Google Play will be awarding the most anticipated title None. with their Play More Award on Twitch. Game. So head on over to Twitch to lock your vote. And now it's time for our next world premiere. A game? A game? Dude, these graphics are so good though. What the fuck? It's not... It's just real life. Oh, uh, okay. Imagine if this was an ad for like domestic abuse. Like he loses, <laughs> just starts breaking shit in the house. Ugh. I'm actually addicted to LaCroix, LaSoy boy. Did you save the game? LaSoy. Yeah. I can't stop okay. drinking LaCroix. Shinobi. Sega. Ah. Oh, is this a new Jet Set Radio game? Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it's just a collection of games. <laughs> no games. They're actually just remastering. Oh, that's Golden Axe. Yeah, that's Golden Axe. And that's Crazy Taxi. Oh, so they're literally just remastering all the old games. So there's no new games. <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, Jet Set Radio remake, that's, that's fucking cool. That's really cool. They just ruined the entire aesthetic by remaking it. I'm kind of worried they might, to be fair. 
They, they should have fucking remastered oh, yeah. Condemned for that horror game because they, they got the rights to that. No, it's remasters, so Jeff. It's remasters, actually. Don't say, don't say new games. Many brand new games in development and set for release over the next several years. Have we had a game yet? No really meme. We've had God of War DLC, All right, well, remasters, trailer, and then Dragon Hellblade, which was already announced before. For a while. Here we go. Is there any new games at the minute? No games. There's actually no games. Oh, this is Dragon Ball. I just, I could tell the fucking noise. The explosions. There's so many Dragon Ball Z games. It's insane. I like how it said on the bottom right, actual gameplay. But yeah, no, we're actually not lying this time. I was about to say that sounds like Freezer. Oh yeah, it's it's fucking Dragon Ball Z. Don't they release like two Dragon Ball Z games a year? Honestly, probably more. Like not even exaggerating. A game. A game. What did behave you do? I don't remember. Oh, super massive. So this will just be one of those sad choose an option games. It's too dangerous. Oh, it is the um, Dead by Daylight game. You heard about that, right? Set in the universe or something? No, but this is done by super massive and they've done like until dawn. So it'll just be choosing options and shit. What's the um company that has a similar name to Supermassive, but they actually make good games? Super Giant, maybe. Maybe. Am I skit something out? Yes. Oh no, yeah, Super Giant. They did Hades. Okay. Hippo, hey, babe, when is that Galander Spurs Adventure Stream? I'm guessing it'll be Dead by Daylight, but none of the um, collab skins and only their homemade ones. <laughs> Everyone in chat is just saying meme song. <laughs> I think fun? it's from TikTok, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, the song didn't come from TikTok, but yeah, it got... No, it did. It, 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 it came from TikTok. Daylight ...and super massive games are coming together for a brand new single player experience, the casting of Frank Stone. Now, tonight we're showing you lots of new worlds, but now it's time to return to a world we haven't seen in quite some time. Hollow Knight? No. Um... New anime game has dropped. I feel like I should know what this is, but... Hey Lalo, how many games are there today? Can you tell the chat? Oh, is this, um... What the fuck? Dragon Quest? Dragon yeah, that's Quest right. Fucking 15 or something at this point. Maybe. It's an anime game, I'm not playing Col it. <laughs> like Colossal spamming in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think every game that's anime is one of those. <laughs> no, everyone's just joining in. Do, do you remember that game? Do you remember that game with all the all the kids in that was on last year and chat was just spamming like EDP game or something oh, like yeah, that? Oh yeah, that was actually No, like that was, EDP yeah, that was game. fucking weird. Oh, oh, it's a mana, it's a mana game. There's fucking heaps of those. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
All because um, <laughs> all because it was an anime child. <laughs> Peter it's game. That time marches to the beat of a drum. A fleeting. Imagine if a YouTube mod just came into the chat right now. They just see everyone spamming Peter like. <laughs> Yeah, what was that game with the, the kids and everyone was spamming ED? Like, it's funny how you never heard of that game ever again. That was... The only thing we know well, the, sure. the, pro probably people are still playing it, right? The developers were put in jail. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, no. Without remorse. But if the drum drives the rhythm... Do this what is this? It's Sekiro, it's but you have me, a gun. It's kind of giving me Ghost of Tsushima vibes, but the graphics look like shitter. <laughs> Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. Snow in Japan. Why does the audio sound so washed out? Ah, uh, it's Ronan. Okay. Rise of the Ronan. Abeldesh will sacrifice their partner for duty. So which of you will do the deed? It just looks like Ghost of Tsushima, but the graphics are worse, and it came out five years after it. That's Rise of the Ronin coming limits. to PlayStation in 2024. <laughs> now it is time to announce winners in a number of other categories. Face. Here are the nominees for best action game. Armored Core 6. Not Dead Riders Island 2. You have to be taking the piss. That's even Dead on the Island list. 2. Ghost Runner probably two. Armored Core. I reckon Armored. And Remnant 2. Remnant 2 is pretty fun. And the game award yeah, goes probably. to... Oh, maybe Hi-Fi Rush. Armored Core 6. Fires of Rubicon. Yeah. Um, I never, I never played that. I actually never the played that. Alan Wake 2, I don't care for mix. It will unfortunately be Zelda. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Surely Hi-Fi Rush. Goes to Alan Wake 2. No, fair enough. Congrats, it's not Nintendo. Here are the nominees for best VR AR. <laughs> you just celebrate any time. Seven, humanity, Horizon, Call of the Mountain. Resident Evil Village VR I've played mode none of them. Snap. Oh, Humanity was and fun, but goes that to wasn't just Resident a VR Evil game. Village VR mode. Congratulations to Capcom. Now your nominees for best mobile game. Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. It'll be <laughs> Wait, Hello Kitty Island Hello Adventure is a real Island thing. Adventure. I thought that was a South Park bit. And Terra Nell. And the game award goes Honkai. to Honkai Star Rail. Congratulations. Hoyo I've never Rose. heard of any of these games. All right, we have much more game awards to come, including the first ever performance by the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. And some of our biggest game announcements are still. Someone in to chat come. is still saying but pedo right game. Like. Every subsequent game announced is a pedo game. <laughs> Wait. Watch them and finally announce Silk Song, and everyone just is Peter okay. In India, when I grew up, I had a very early interest in games. When I got to Canada at age 12, it was a whole new world. Yeah, just to convey that you have an interest in video games, can you just like show yourself walking through a supermarket, mate? Cheers. But also a way of expressing affection and all the things that they cannot say. Mimba is a narrative cooking game that tells the story cooking of mama let's go in the late 1980s cooking mama it's a story about love loss and family the more local you are the more international you become everybody who's played I like the how they just show a woman crying it's like this will sell the game <laughs> in ways that i wouldn't have expected i mean knowing gamers probably <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I had to. I had to. Um, I had to relax a little bit when that one. <laughs> Your chat, however.
Oh, this game fell the fuck off. God damn. I can save someone with this. Yeah, I, I, I sweated this game to get to the first prestige and then I just kind of realized. <laughs> it's just What's so... It? It's just Outlast, but multiplayer. Is this the tri Trials yeah, game yeah, yeah. It, it, it yeah. sucks. It doesn't suck. There's just nothing to do in it. Like, once you prestige, you can prestige five more times to get a new outfit and it's like, no, I'm good. Okay, now we sit down, very comfy. Let the miracles of science give you purpose. Sometimes the finger of God reaches down and touches you. The only funny thing about the game is you can get a glass bottle and throw it at the old bitch. That's like the only good thing about the game. <laughs> okay, react Andy. It's just the game. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy was such a react Andy. That was unreal. Like, Wait, I thought been... this already. I thought this already came out. Uh, maybe on consoles. Is that a vape? There's no way that's a vape. Is... <laughs> oh my god, is that an actual vape? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's an ad? Okay, Wait, I thought it was gonna be a can fucking... make stress worse. Okay, yeah, I thought it was gonna be a fucking vape-based game. Ready? It is time to get a world premiere from one of our industry's greatest creators. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the very beginning back in 2014. And tonight... I am so, so honored too. to share this latest update with you on his upcoming project. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it'd be uh, nice to see some I actual win. fucking gameplay of this. Oh, but there's, the what, walking? The kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started bending and quacking. Quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur, purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale, and started bending and quacking. Who did he, um, he got a few actresses yeah. on the game, right? Yeah, he gets like cameos and stuff. Yeah, when it said Hunter Schaefer, I thought for a second it said Hunter Biden. They just get Joe Biden's son on it. They offered him a bag. You just know this is the only preview we're getting, right? But I don't think... Surely there's more. Me when I'm whacking off and then I realize the door's half open. Me when well, you when you're whacking off and you realize it's normal. Is that it? Is that it? You're just gonna end there saying it's normal? That's it. <laughs> Did you stop yourself or was that the entire bit? It's the entire bit. Yeah. Fuck you. No, it's not no, PC. No, that's normal. It's not PC. They don't have the rights to it. Oh, is that is that why she screamed? Because it was Hideo Kojima. the visionary game developer behind OD, Mr. That's a cool Kojima. entrance. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. My name's Jeff. I do respect how he just never bothered to like learn English. <laughs> just brings a translator on screen. Eat my ass. Did you see his tweet he posted saying I'm selling meth and it was by the Breaking Bad RV? He got like 200k likes. Posted it like parody account. No, I think it was actually him. I'm pretty sure it was called like Hideo Kojima Australia or something that posted that one. Oh, maybe. 
What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? The poor translator has to remember fucking like two minutes of speaking. It's probably pre. It's probably lines they've already rehearsed. To be fair. まあ、あの is this like the PT kind of like? Probably, yeah, because he doesn't have the rights to Silent Hill. To always challenge new things, groundbreaking things, and that's my kind of rule. Uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, <laughs> Xbox Game Studios and using their uh, cloud gaming technology, um, I'm kind of doing this uh, together. But it's it's really to make immersive, and also something that never no one has seen before. Is what I'm trying yeah, to he's do. He's got a good fucking memory to fucking recite all that. At the same time, a movie, but at the same time, a new form of media. <clears throat> well, we can't wait to learn more about what you're working on. Kojima does actually speak wait, English. Wait. He just has a oh, shit accent. The, um, <laughs> also, he's an important boy just because it's rich people uh, think. Is it Jordan Peele? Someone did a dono. Someone did a dono. Is it actually going to be Jordan Peele? Everyone, yeah. Please welcome. He's alive. Jordan yeah. Someone did a dono saying Kojima does actually speak English, he just has a shit accent. <laughs> Very yeah, brave the, of the um, Game Awards to show like, three yeah, people games be. before blowing our minds by releasing no games. What's up? How's it going? Oh my god, Jordan, welcome to the Game Awards. What a fun surprise. I know you're a big fan of Hideo's games, right? I'm a huge fan of Hideo. This man is an icon. <laughs> No, I hate and, the guy. Uh, I, I can just I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2. Have you guys seen my latest film, Candyman? Why is everyone well. saying I Kanye? Knew I was experiencing the work of an artist. <laughs> Wait, they call him Kanye? Craft just yep. hits different. And he's been an inspiration to me. And the opportunity to collaborate with him is truly incredible. In my films. I'm always trying to maximize the immersion, put the audience into the main character's shoes. Hideo is the master of this, and he does it on a whole nubba level. <laughs> and what he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly Guys, terrifying. Guys, can you buy Nope on DVD, please? No one saw it in cinemas. The goat. Let's go! <laughs> I put it so well in cinemas, didn't it? Two goats. No, I'm just making up lies. Uh, Hideo, I want to ask you, <laughs> how are you collaborating with Jordan? No, it was good. <laughs> us was mid, but... I thought us was better. Us was just like, they tried explaining everything and I was That's actually, right, yeah. They explained like, like the whole world has an reverse thing underneath it. Like, and they could just never escape because there were escalators. Like, all right. No one said, yep, yep, we're skibbity to <laughs> well, Jordan is one of those genius, and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We like things that we both like, and we're really happy, and we wanted to collaborate something. And, and this time, um, we both well, like Jordan, scary things. I, I grew up watching movies, <laughs> and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing oh, games, still said, and he's is the game player. named after so Heath Ledger? <laughs> really awesome. so that's Wait, what's the I bit? To do something together with Jordan. He overdosed. Oh my oh, god, <laughs> yeah, colossal moment. Yes. <laughs> okay, they've definitely been yapping too long now. They're basically, they're, they're, they're not even talking about the game. They're just being like, yeah, we're really good friends, yeah. actually. You can't even play them off because it's not an award speech. They paid to be here. The poor translator, you can see him just trying to like, you know, remember, remember, remember. So, uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of um, 
Um, it's not just Jordan. I have other. It's funny uh, how it's basically partners. two speeches because uh, it's him talking and then it's him project, being translated, uh, say, and it's still somehow shorter right now, they, than they the God of the War legend, speech. And they're going to be amazing. And, yeah, uh, four I people on stage is still shorter. <laughs> Doors closed for now. So All right, right, wrap it up. Test, but it's going to be amazing. Wanna, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game. It is going to be crazy. The only thing That's it's it. good as is my film. Nope. Please more. watch it. Please Hideo stream Kojima, it. <laughs> Jordan Peele. Thank you so much, guys. Boo. Like right. Boo. Get, get off. Boo. Game yep, too long. 65 million years in the making. I own an island. What, what does the ultimate for the that? 20? Off the coast of Costa Rica. No more games, just the Yap really Awards. Spectacular, spared no expense. For this place, I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Ah, uh, it is Jurassic Park. I was like... Uh, uh, I mean, could dinosaurs. you not from the music? Well, I just... I was like, I thought it was going to be baked, but it's just actually... This is Dr. Maya Joshi. <laughs> I've been left behind on Isla Nublar. <laughs> Is that me a Khalifa? No. God, no. <laughs> it might be. That's not me a Khalifa, is it? I don't know. I just saw someone with glasses and I was like, yeah, <laughs> a woman with glasses. <laughs> I like how she covers the torch with her hand and then throws it as opposed to turning it off. Yeah, woman logic. Yeah, someone said that sniper wolf. Yeah. <laughs> She's running to Jack's film's house so she can post more bait. Is this like Five Nights at Freddy's with dinosaurs? Like, they could so easily kill her. They're friendly. Yeah, they just, they just want to goof a little bit. <sighs> Holy frames. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to the gameplay and it's 20 FPS. Oh, those frames. Is that it? Is that really all you could show? A bunch of like 20 FPS clips? Come on. That was bad. What did they even show? Just like her shutting a door and that was jump jumping as well? Please welcome Grammy Award winning producer. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh, it's the guy that looks like Ali A. Hello they all look like I'm LA. I'm to be here tonight to present the award for best audio design. Sound is it's me with my new album, crucial aspect video game <laughs> music. It's what brings games to life, creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. <clears throat> it's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games. It'll as be uh, sound have pushed the boundaries Dead of Space what's possible. or something. Here are the nominees. I don't even know who's nominated. Best audio <clears throat> design. Probably Alan Wake, to be fair. Oh, yeah, that came out this year. I thought that was like December last year. Fuck. Yeah, I think it was January. Yeah, I don't think Spider-Man's getting that one. Oh, Resident Evil 4. Yeah, the, I, to be fair, the last thing I think of is the audio when and I'm playing a game. I like how they made all the audio sound so punchy as well. Hi, Fire Rush. Ah. We won! We won! We won! You'd, you'd think they'd win, you know, like, art direction, but they win audio. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Oh, I thought he was going to speak English, but then just yapping in Japanese again. He doesn't even have a translator, so he's just like... So what should tell him? Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And for myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. He's shaking. Um, thank you, everyone. Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft. He's a little nervous and, uh, baby. He there. needs a little pat on the head. He, imagine he didn't even win. He's just the translator. Project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. I mean, Hi-Fi Rush must have sold well. He's got a little Prada buckle on his neck. Oh, of course you'd fucking notice that. It's literally the Prada logo on his neck. What do you mean? It's always been a triangle. Let's turn to the world of Fortnite. Yeah, but if you haven't already it's a Game Awards. The Game Awards <laughs> Island in Fortnite. The Prada Holy awards. crap, new Fortnite code. To collect. Fortnite is expanding into a full Oh my god, I love Fortnite. With tons of new experiences beyond Chat is saying Japanese. Japanese. spoke for like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't even talking that long, eh? Bring back Jordan Peele so we can say he was he's friends with Hideo for five minutes. Second Fortnite ad, by the way. Well, it is like the most popular game at the minute. Because of all the little kids. I'm surprised you it's got such doing a big player base. Because didn't all the Fortnite YouTubers like fall off? No, they still make stuff and because you know they they have endlessly new seasons like they keep the game pretty fresh <clears throat> oh yeah they're doing a rocket league collab and then they're also doing a rock band collab I remember installing Fortnite to buy the Venom skin, then I just never played it again. Painting the game. You too want to be an immortal. The science of no games. Are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? Because goodness without. Is this a Chinese game or a Japanese game? I can't even tell. It only you can't say that. Evil. No, because oh, the, um, the lip the lip the sync was off, life. so it's obviously dubbed in something. In well, Wukong is literally a Chinese legend, so <clears throat> who knows? Oh yeah, it says yeah, Chinese fantasy. The of the new West. What the, the fuck is that one. thing? Yeah, Chinese mythology is scary. They just give for. human heads on everything. They surely know how to <laughs> that's as deep as it goes. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. And then there was a fairy that you just saw. That's it. Didn't they show this last time, but way less of it? Oh, a lot of the stuff is like Neo. Like some of these enemies, I remember fighting in Neo. I mean, it does look interesting, though. Is that just a rooster man? Okay, that's kind of cool. 
surely they're not just going to call it Wukong. Uh, I mean, it was close. Black Myth Wukong. Wait, was there a previous one? No, Wukong is just like the biggest fucking legend. They they put that skin in every single game. Oh, this is like, uh, Kill the Justice League. Lantern, the Have you seen this, by the way? Kill the Justice League. Odds on them actually killing them. Well, you play as the bad guys. Like Captain, you know, everyone loves beloved supervillain Captain Boomerang, of course. Oh, well, it's just Suicide Squad then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. That wasn't Will Smith. You think you're a team now? You think you can stop? Oh, they're doing the evil Superman. Yeah. What the fuck are the Suicide Squad gonna do? None of them even have fucking good powers. Captain Boomerang is gonna throw a boomerang and it'll give him, hit him yeah. in the head, give him a concussion. Harley Quinn is just gonna be bipolar. Oh, well, I'm gonna get content ID now. They're playing fucking gorillas. Nice. Isn't it a fucking uh, live service game? I don't know. What does that mean? Like always online? Just dog shit, really. <laughs> Probably. He would just laser them all instantly and they'd die. Yeah, but it's a video game. Holy shit, the gear on that woman. Fucking hell. Special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you God Twitch. Damn. Did they did they do like a side angle on purpose? They do like a side angle on purpose. Just cuz our game is probably over this game here maybe, but yeah, we have going strong. I know. Well, I zoned out. This is the game awards. This games. I I zoned out for a minute. I was I was looking at the I was looking at the gap. The Gat Awards. <laughs> the Gat Awards. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible. Does she have an avatar years tattoo? Our incredible developers, our community, Maybe. just supporting us along. Was, I'm, I'm so not looking there. Like, I'm not looking there. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. So much, it, it's, it could just be like a self-portrait, but oh, yeah, the, the tattoo faded over time, so it looks blurry. Right, thanks, guys. <laughs> Let's take a look. For generations, you've God, holy fucking Gat. No I, don't, I don't care about the game. Can you go back, please? Can, can we go back? Uh, this aesthetic is... What is this? The lidless eye has seen that aesthetic is so... Oh, uh, this is uh, Warzone? No, no, what's it called? The fucking free-to-play game. Warframe? So, yeah, that's Warframe. it. Snorframe. Snorframe. Okay. Yeah, I only, I only played Wolf? Warframe once, and it was so boring. I thought it was meant to be better than, like, Destiny in that. I'll, I'll be honest, like, I only installed Warframe because they added, like, a new character that was fat. I played it for an hour, and then I just yeah. never touched the game again. And she had probably had no face or had a mask on. Yeah. So. And, and then I just, I got bored of the game after, like, two hours, just never touched it again. Just so fucking boring. Inflation friend. There is so much more game awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But I did not think here, the surprises were super done. I don't think there's been any. You said, Jay, you literally have little toddler humor. Two year old toddler brain rotted from doom scrolling TikTok for 18 hours a day. You unironically laughed at Yapanese. Please consider getting professional help, Hero. Please, please, please. Thank you, Arsh. The 10, shut up. 
Wait, is this Fortnite? Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive Dude, imagine if it was Mario. like... Imagine if there's a real Super Mario park before. and there was a thwomp and it could just like actually just crush you and kill you. Like it just fell on you. <laughs> and you had to sign like a waiver. Like if your kid died, like it's not their fault. Now open Universal Studios Hollywood. For real. That'd be sick. Starfield, a game? There's no game. The wonder is how people bought our game. Todd Howard, 2023. <laughs> open world game but it has loading screens Great oh it's just and... amazing how boring it is it just wasn't even bad it was just boring as fuck no it's not okay vice it, how much you? were you paid to say that did you finish it no i got like three hours in i shot up a bunch of people on a planet and then just quit i tried like sh i tried like killing the kids and you couldn't because it's a bethesda game so yeah it sucks It's the fact that you can go to so many planets and they're actually randomly generated to have nothing on them. It's just, why? <laughs> Who gave it nines and tens? Were they just asking like porn magazines? Like what? They probably asked like Bethesda Weekly or something. Yeah, imagine just like no. 10 out of 10 Bethesda, like just their own company. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Todd Howard fan <laughs> Todd Howard's family. <laughs> they just ask everyone in Todd Howard's family tree. <laughs> Melissa Howard, Matthew Howard. Once their grip on this world is broken. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Life to the living. Death. To the, to the dead. dead. Life to the living. Death to, to the, the dead. dead. Honoring my oath of sacrificing the living to bring you back. Harry Potter. I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> Honor your oath. <laughs> They're gonna milk the shit out of Harry Potter though. But don't leave me like this. Why would you show the collector's edition? There's no hype for it. Emergency. There's no games. We need a game this year to announce, please. You ready? Suspect down. Write it down. We got you. Watch the down. We got to get you up. Look out. Ready? This looks like that ready or not game, but like third person instead. Yeah, this actually looks like ready or not. I'm not going in. He died. He lives. Just, just scratched up a bit. So, are you ready? Oh, it is ready or not. But like, what? None of that was first person. Oh, they're going 1.0. Oh, they're actually releasing it. Oh, has it been in beta? It's actually been in beta time? for like two years. It's crazy. It's actually insane how slow. Age of Empires, Call of Duty, Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title yeah, you yeah. want to win. Rainbow we'll Six Siege on mobile. I can mold award. while I'm on the train. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director Caroline I fell asleep Marshall. an hour ago. Any games? Nah, there's actually no games. I'm not even joking, man. There's just no fucking games. What has it actually been? nothing just Other than nothing literally just the guy that made uh fucking us there was the dead cells game there's been no games bro two other things the games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all from the climate jet set radio oh yeah but that's like a remake though so that, that doesn't count if it was if we're talking remakes there's been like 40 games announced if we're removing remakes no games and intolerance 
This is one of the most Because anything that I'm excited for has Andrew. already been announced like a year VR, prior, like Hellblade. Nominees. Games for Impact. What does impact even mean? What does that mean? What is that? Okay, I hope that wins. Volcano High! I hope that one wins. I really hope that one wins. Surely. Surely Volcano High. I like how that game... Is that the Indian dropped. cooking game again? Okay, no Indian cooking you. game or... What was the other one? Volcano High. Volcano High. Volcano High. I think it literally just means... Volcano High. L yeah, ESG category, what nerd said in chat. <laughs> ESG category? Was that Chia, that one? Was that the Indian Cooking Mama game, or...? No, Chia was, um... Where was it set? Some... It was like a French game set on, like, a little I island. Award on behalf of... Uh... Zero Power Cell, who cannot be here, but I got a message from Phil Crippo, co-founder of Ourself. I like it to was um, it was free on Snoy, and I tried it. It was 30 frames, and, and I turned it off. Talent. That was my experience. And Sony for believing in this crazy project, and the entire population of New Caledonia, who championed and embraced cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. <laughs> He seems baby. I'm happy he won. I wish Cooking Mama won though. Hello. Uh, I'm Abu Bakr Salim. I'm mainly known for my acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. But no one uh, played it, bro. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say no one played it. No one played oh, it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like... I remember uh, watching uh, the Game Awards uh, when they actually announced games. It was a crazy time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, Reggie's just there like games. Look, I've, I've loved games, games all my life. Uh, I mean, I played them all my any, life, man, from Kingdom Hearts. Any games? Gary's mod. It, Golden any, Sun. Any games, guys? Any games? And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. My dad got me into games, and, and then he told me, son, world, when you grow up and you're my age, there will be no games. Back, and I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and threw everything that I had in making a game. A, a piece of art that honored him an ode to the people we have loved and lost. So. I respect it, I can't hate. I hate the fact though, so the because of the no I'm games meme, because every because time he says game, I just wanna laugh. A lot of people <laughs> here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. No, I'm gonna offer you this game. Game from my old man. <laughs> every time oh, I hear I game, hear? I just think of no <laughs> games, man, it's <laughs> ruined. It's ruined. Every story begins at the end of another. Each story carries Holy the shit, it's Twomad. Ridley Scott Creative brother, Group? What? My father. Your story was snatched away too soon. I fucking hate that art style. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kenzera. Here, I seek my father's return. I mean, it's cool that it's definitely cool that he got to make a game in like his dad's memory, though. But yeah, I'm not playing it. Yeah, like that. That's really cool. I respect that. But yeah, I'm not playing <laughs> I it. I love. It's like, yeah, I'm playing it though. No, but you can still respect it though. Like that's sick. Yeah, but you, you didn't even like stop to pause. It's like, yeah. yeah, it looks really cool. Glad he's dedicating to his dad. Not playing it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> playing it though. Like side scrollers are bedtime. <laughs> What fucking games do you like, bro? Just fucking PS1 dog shit in the head. PS1 first person games, yeah. Uh, what's wrong with side scrollers? I will not stop. They're boring. You only go left and right. Yeah, because you can't pretend you're the person. self insert Show me you are ready. Look at 
okay. I won't buy it. I'll play it if it's free, but that's So you just that. said the same thing. You literally said the same thing that you're not going to you're no, not going to buy said it. I'll, I said I'd I said I'd play it. You said you're not going to play it. <laughs> See, I'm better than you. Oh god. I was about to say this looks like life is strange. Yeah. Yep. Okay, what if we were quirky? Huh? Okay, what if what if we watch Twilight? Huh? Huh? What what if we watch Twilight? Huh? Twilight. What is this like a no Colossal just spamming P oh, there again. This should be called the PS5 <laughs> Awards with the amount of games being shown. <laughs> also ask Dolan when he will be streaming Transformers the game on the PS2. Looks like, um... It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because... We made a promise. No games. That was Lost Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. Now we have a world premiere, a new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows Spoken. off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics what is and it? hardcore action. This Engine impact is some the first bullshit. Berserker. Berserker or Berserk? Berserk would be cool. Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. Of that your king you thought you were a hero <laughs> now you are just one of us Seriously, Pyro, what game do you want to see announced? Like, what kind, what genre, what gameplay? With or without fat characters? Same question for Dolan. Uh, I just want a game. There's been no games so far. <laughs> what, what about you? What game do you want? I mean, you want Silk Side, though, don't you? Side scrollers because yeah, you can't get a proper view know. of character girth. And then, like, Bloodborne remaster's not happening ever, so, like, there's no point looking forward to that. I want Bloodborne to come out on PC. It never will. It never will. <laughs> Looks good, right? All right, now it's time for our first <laughs> performance by the Game Awards Orchestra. This one oh, though, is a little bit of a We've had more fucking twist. songs and games, bro. From an bro. upcoming game that no one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world Wait, a game? Players, and this is a special one. It's there's written a, by one of the greatest video a game. game composers of all time. The legendary <laughs> Nobuo Utamatsu. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra led Edging by Edging until Valve, a game is announced challenge. Allred, impossible. Debuting Edging the until a game is announced challenge. Final Bro, you're going to be here until 2027. Rebirth. Enjoy. Uh, it's Final Fantasy VII Remake number 24700. <laughs> the fucking bullshit. You just sounded like such a bitter bastard when you said that. <laughs> Remake number two, four, seven thousand. <laughs> I swear they're doing. Did they split the game into three parts? I think so. Yeah, because the first, the original one on the the PS One was just so long. It was like seventy hour game. Yeah, yeah I think it was, it was split across discs. like four was discs like, or something. It was uh, maybe even more than two discs. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of genius how goofy it is compared to like Final Fantasy 16. Anime. Well, I hear. I was seeing these characters a lot, but I don't play games. Yeah, the, I, I think with like Final Fantasy, each game is just in a completely different universe, which doesn't make any sense. No, yeah, no, it's. Yeah, it's like the same 
base universe, you know, like they'll have monsters that carry over and everything, but every single game is, yeah, not not connected. Yeah, like the, they've got that chocobo, that fucking bird in like every game, but then just no characters. Yeah, and mo a lot of the monsters carry over too. <laughs> it just, it's just so, that, so that's not even assets. universe, that's just lazy. <laughs> I'm edging to your stream. Thank you, man. How are you not quivering with excitement for Sparkling Zero? The only game close What's to the original that? that's in here. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that what? just sounds like sugar-free sparkling water. <laughs> like Sugar Zero. Man. Were you paid to make that dono, by the way? Why did you put hashtag ad at the end? Final Fantasy VII's mid. Uh, the PS1 version was really good. That was like one of the best games on the PS1, like, period. Like, 20 fucking years ago. Oh, that's the... So oh my god, that was the soy man! That was the soy man! Did you see that? What? That, was the, that was the soy man! Holy <laughs> shit! Who, who is the soy man? Oh my god, guys, hang on. Sorry. I... I gotta go back. I gotta go back. It's him. It's the soy man. Hang on. Uh, like the. Look, it's the, it's the soy man. Look, 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 Hang on, chat, 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 chat. Oh, is it the guy called Jesse or something? Is yeah, that yeah, yeah. The the. To? Chat. It's so sorry. I, I know. I know we're streaming, but look, it's literally the soy man. Like it. They. Oh my god. They got the. They actually got the soy man before GTA Six. That's insane. That's insane. That's oh, insane. Jesse Cop. Jesse Cop. Oh, so this entire event is sponsored by Soylent. Okay, it makes sense now. Soy man spotted. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. We actually got Soy man. That's a very fun when limits are made to be broken when Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes to Apex Legends on January what? 9th. Oh, Jabroni's here. What's up, man? Drawn by <laughs> it's Jason Bourne. Thank you, so Hassan, for the 17. Now it's time to announce Hassan. the winners of the Hassan Biker. Selected by the fans and our voting jury. In the category of Best Score and Music, the nominees are... Final Alan Fantasy Lake 16 Baldur's actually had some good three, music. Final Fantasy 16. Hi Fi Rush and the Legend of Zelda Tears of the I would Kingdom. say Legend of Zelda, the but if they didn't have a piano, to... they'd be fucked. Yeah. Final 16 Fantasy was 16. pretty solid. So Kinsan, congratulations. Here are the nominees for best independent game. Cocoon. No game. Dave the Diver. Oh yeah, Trench, Dave the Diver's barely independent as well. And the game award goes to Sea of Stars. Sea of Stars was okay, I got bored. My Pyro plush came, and let's just say the edging support. from No Games Baldur's made me so sorry. Cyberpunk's gonna fucking get it. Destiny 2, Final Fantasy 14, and No Man's Sky. Baldur's Gate? The game award goes oh, maybe Cyberpunk. Oh, Baldur's Gate oh yeah, yeah, Baldur's Gate. I honestly thought it was gonna be Cyberpunk. Like, because they took two years to make the game work. Game. Those are God of Rock, Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, it'll Street probably be Fighter. Street Fighter. I can't imagine Mortal Kombat. They didn't even get Anthony Starr for Homelander. When are you gonna start presenting yeah. the no games? Well, oh, yeah, it sounded like they they asked him, but he probably asked no, no, no. He wasn't asked. He said he said he was down. Oh, uh, he was open to it or something. Yeah. Like a dragon, infinite wealth. Star Wars Outlaws and Tekken Most anticipated eight. game. None of and these the I'm, I'm hyped for. Ah. <laughs> you just start snoring. I'm not hyped for right. any of those games. Well, Maybe Hades 2, but that, there's no... Like, Hades, if that is like upcoming game games to get hyped for, it's fucking over. With myths and legends is set for more intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight we have an exclusive look at Pentacon. To be fair, they only put games there that had like guaranteed releases otherwise silk song would have won do you still remember it fables about the stars i swear i've seen so many it's so anime trailers like this not, not only anime but like they're walking on thin air with the little sparkles on their feet 
Anime game, game number game. 25. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Let's go. I say that, okay, this is actually a pedo game. That is, that is just a child. That's not... Yeah, okay. um, actually, it's a 9,000-year-old <laughs> spirit. The entire, the entire chat is just him. <laughs> <laughs> the entire fucking chat. <laughs> and then everyone will copy him because he said it so many fucking times. Um, actually, guys, it's not a child. It's a 9,000-year-old spirit. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, 9,000-year-old dragon vampire. Suffering and joy will both be added to the final draft of the story. Uh, did you see some people are saying dream game instead of... Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the path of the trailblaze will continue. Just any child yes, featured in the game is now pedo game. Could you imagine if they made, like... A game literally for children, like Viva Pinata 2 or something, and then everyone's just saying well, pedo game. Young lady, may I ask your name? Yeah, it's funny. Oh, these God. games could easily actually be I'm really good, but the aesthetic, I just bedtime. I like how they just focused on her massive tits for like for five seconds. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> they just focused on her fat tits for like a, a good five seconds there. Someone said right Colossal has a small wiener and Colossal timed them out. <laughs> <laughs> Available now for iPhone and Android. So check He's it out. actually abusing Monster his powers. Coming up, we've got an exclusive. I mean, guys, if you say something bad series. about Colossal and he times right you out, now. that means it's true. It's 100% true. Get a, can we get a Colossal has a small wiener in chat? He can't yeah, time can we get a Colossal has a small wiener? If he times you out, that it just means it's true. <laughs> it's too many. There'll be too many for him to time out. Okay. Dolan try not to mention Silk Song every 10 seconds. Well, it's the only game. I don't know what to tell you now. <laughs> Anime of the Year Awards 2023. Literally! There's no games! It's just anime! Okay, we're not doing that. Modern Warfare 3 DOA. Apparently the multiplayer is good. It's just obviously the campaign was tacked on dog shit. Well, the campaign was always originally meant to be DLC and then they just got greedy and they like would charge yeah. full price and give nothing back. Well, the maps were also meant to be DLC. Well, the, 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 maps, remastered. the maps are actually from Warzone. Oh yeah, they what? got a zombies no, mode and apparently it's just awful as well. The multiplayer maps are, are remastered maps from Modern Warfare 2 2009. Like every single map. <laughs> the worst thing is about COD, I bought it like, and installed it just to download the Homelander skin, then I never touched it again. Need help. Oh, this game's actually coming out. Wait, there's a game? <laughs> no. It's an Ubisoft game, so... God, that... Not really. That Avatar game they released was so fucking best time. It was so bo I'm, I'm actually yawning just thinking about it. Ugh. Oh, they're using that song. <clears throat> it's literally Sea of Thieves, but the characters look normal and not just deformed. <laughs> It's insane how Ubisoft just churns out so much mid. They must actually put out like seven games a year or something. Mm. All right, we're back here at the Game Awards, and no we're Game Awards. A look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. Every and year, I wonder how long it'll be. Now for the upcoming a Game Awards. <laughs> beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. You're fucking kidding. Oh. I thought it was Starfield or shitting at them. Okay. Okay. Arcane. Okay. This could be good. 
Didn't they just release more shit though? Yeah, yeah, but that, they got forced to because their games, like, Prey didn't sell well enough, so they were literally forced. They were forced into making what? slop like Wolfenstein and Wolfenstein Youngblood and Tarnish. Deathloop. Wait, were they not the ones who did Redfall? Yeah, 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 but again, they, they were forced to do it. Like, they were delegated as, like, a sub-studio. Like, they were... They, we're literally forced by Bethesda. I know it sounds Before like a cope. Was still but... insane though. Because like, the... Dishonored was so peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made Dishonored and then they made Prey and Prey sold. Even though Prey was amazing, it sold really poorly. So well, Bethesda were like, no, you're only making multiplayer shit now. So the, the worst thing is this will probably be another fucking multiplayer game, but it might be decent. I hope. It's a vampire game, bro. It might be over. It might be Isn't over. Isn't that what Redfall was? Yeah. Night's just getting started. Ah, it is Blade. Okay. But like, they just did Red for a vampire game. That yeah, sucks. no, no. Why would they is do another really vampire game? Giving him another vampire game. Another vampire game. game. What are you doing? That's gonna, that's gonna be DOA, even if it's good. Another vampire game straight after Redfall. The superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent and the fan favorite characters that they love. Now we are huge fans. Oh of yeah, Leone. that thing goes at the head of uh, Arcane. That's right. Games they funny Frenchman. Innovative gameplay, but because of their authentic. Yeah, they used to make so many fucking good games, man. Like Bethesda Blade, literally just shoved their fist up the ass. We are so honored to announce this true Marvel team up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, our first book order it. of business was to make book another book very it. arcane game, but with a title that is easier to say in a French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sebastian Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, said, okay, oh. let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take Wait, on a superhero. Wait, my stream froze. And we ate it up. I mean, the arcane touch I think my stream froze. like his trademark trench coat. Um, and, I mean, think about it. It's, it's, it's still a moving on my screen. Action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. For true believers, I can still see you on your stream, true. by the way. Very excited to learn more. I think why this character. Oh, is it working? Um, well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half oh, moon. Oh, okay. No, you're Earth, still there. The warm society <laughs> of the living I thought it froze, but you were just sitting very still. And, uh... well, let me refresh. It's like I'm on my OBS preview. It's so not yes, showing anything. It is a dream to be making a game about. I am moving on my Paris, screen. My hometown. OBS you know, just it... must be sucking. <laughs> well, if. Get the French person off the <laughs> fucking stage. If my hometown was walled in and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down. Wait, so let me check on my email. phone. Because it's like my camera's yeah, working, but the cam link is just showing no... No, no you, I'm, uh, I am you on your thing. stream currently. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, oh. you know, pouring so yeah, it's much frozen. Oh, your, into this immersive... Your Game Awards is frozen. Yeah, like why? Fuck. in the heart of Paris. So, please sit back, let us cook, and voila! Merci beaucoup! I don't know how to fix that. Uh-oh. That's not good. Wait, what if I just copy it? Will that work? Hang on. Yeah, I think it's fucked, like, entirely. Oh, uh, that's, um... What was his name? Captain America? <laughs> Surely you can just refresh it or something. Stunts too. Weird. Thank you very you much, can't, guys. you can't refresh hey, on, uh, OBS. I'll have to, like, end stream. Is there a way to ref- I thought you just- Couldn't, couldn't you just close the Game Awards and reopen it? Or no, no, it's, it's the entire that's... capture that's, like, it's the entire capture that's ah. fucked. God fucking damn it. You can't scream them all. Jeez. <laughs> now, no one knows this yet. So you three guys and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans. Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. Yeah, it's like, all right. I'm after a stealth stream. I don't know why it's gone to like a fucking PowerPoint slideshow. Yeah, I'm just getting it set up again now. It just came to restart the stream. Yeah, it just, I don't know why. The, I tried deactivating and activating the screen share. It was just completely fucked. I had to restart my whole PC because I've got like a cam link that connects the two PCs, but I think it just shit itself. Uh, I think we're back though. When they were actually getting all of those updates, just recently you shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk. 
2077, and it's for all of you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Applying them off. Thank you. Why do they always do that? I just rush it so much. Yeah, they were dragging a little bit. Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable games over the past 20 years, like GTA 5, Bully, Need for Speed, Underground, and the Red Okay, so this is Rockstar. Series. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve? Thanks, chap. Great to have you here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past few years at Lightspeed LA, myself and a remarkable team. Over Thank you, Kruppin, for joining. Talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development. On a fully original yeah the stream was at like 7k views and then as soon as it crashed it dropped down to like 1300 it's over they all went to watch critical it's over yeah the, uh, ironically they've clicked someone else now and you will never recover seriously i'm so excited to share so much more with you in the future but for now i hope you all enjoy this first taste amazing let's take a look steve here we go Woo! a game I think that was one of the guys that founded Rockstar, by the way. Thank you, Malachi, for the five. You didn't miss the single game awards. Did I miss a... Oh, yeah. Did I miss a game, by the way? Was there a game announced? I don't know. I was pissing because I assumed there were no games. I was saying to turn it up, by the way. Yeah, I already, I just did. I'm scared, mommy. Please. Hush now. It's going, go, going to be okay. The demon is here. It's the demon. It's the demon. Robot, robot Japan. Japan? Place Japan? I was gonna say like that is definitely a woman with that ass and then if it was revealed to be a man I'd be gay <laughs> Well, you already are Are you pretty lady for joining? Yeah, it looks kind of cool. I mean no gameplay, but yeah <laughs> Yeah This actually looks like Death Stranding. Could be. Now open your eyes. Nah, definitely not. Too much, too much anime, even for Hideo. The high heels. first Giat. the dlc just makes that her ass like five percent fatter which is launching the summer of 2024 <laughs> from nexon now we have a new look at hoyo versus next big game zenless zone zero in urban fantasy arpg i have my eye on this one for a while we the games like come, and we're excited to unveil their latest announcement zenless right here at tga they actually ran out of names for games so they just add numbers on the end Oh, 
Oh no. I saw a fairy. Yep. I will, I mean, I will not least, say anything. At least it doesn't look like the... I mean, it is an anime game, but it doesn't look exactly the same as the other ones. Colossal's already back onto it. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like it actually has some sort of identity, though. Do you have a shark tail? What the hell? Anime is crazy. It <laughs> has fucking shark tattooed on her tail. <laughs> As if it wasn't that more obvious that it was a shark Wait, tail. Wait, she had a shark tattoo on the tail? It was a tattoo that just said shark, like on the tail. <laughs> there's, like, uh, there's two let me just characters. Let me just... Oh yeah, boy, for an hour and then refund it. Is this still the same trailer or is this already gone? Is this nah, a different, it's different one? I, think. I was I didn't even see. It's all the same, it's all anime. Gundam. Gundam game. Yeah, that played just like Armored Core, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't really care for mech games. Make a break. I mean, it, it looked cool. Like, if I had some banging music with it, then, yeah. Playing. Let's see what happens yeah. when they find out. This looks amazing. <laughs> Wait, it's that, like, it's yeah, that dog shit cool. from two years ago? Anything's powering your gaming, like a 4090. 40 series? You're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Wow. Streaming on Hey, Byro, how is the One Game Awards going? Anything remotely good that. reveal? Also, just Chrome wanted to do my mandatory, slightly annoying, Amori shill for the stream. Plus, wanted to say, really enjoyed the great content on the main the channel. Tide of war. Thank Why you, do we even watch the I promise business. one day, Amori will happen. As we battle against the bugs, the Isn't that the Yeah, I like how they were shilling that you could play Cyberpunk on a Chromebook, but then it said it was all streamed. Soldiers to take on these deadly robotic hordes and spread our message of peace and democracy. Yeah, this was announced last year uh, as well. Isn't this a sequel to, um... Yeah, like a top-down game. Died for. Can't remember the name of it. Something Helldivers, maybe? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Join the fight for freedom <laughs> and list today. <laughs> Play has limits. What is your life? My honor is my life. There's so many Warhammer games, bro. Yeah, it's, they have Warhammer and my then they have the Warhammer 40k. Is what is your pledge? The frames. <laughs> my pledge is eternal service. My pledge is to get above 20 frames. Space Marine. Okay, now we have a special surprise for you. 
live and exclusively here oh my god at the game Awards. Oh, 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 oh a game a game a game a game welcome 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 no it's alan wake 2 bit it's, it's gonna be the musical from the game more. It's going to be the musical from the game. The old Gods of Asgard featuring that best-selling writer Alan Wake. This is Herald of Darkness. Yeah, it's it's the music from the game. What? Isn't this the third song yeah. they've played? Yeah, it's funny because that guy at the front is the actual voice actor for alan wake because the alan wake actor is oh. finished as well so he just mouths everything because as soon as he speaks he just sounds like sam lake he's like i'm alan wake hello wait so which one's the actual voice of alan wake the, the, vo the voice of alan is the guy next to the black guy and the, the, the Alan Wake guy there, he's just miming it because he's fucking finished, so he just wouldn't... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd just be like, I am Alan Wake, I write the book. At least they've got, like, some choreography going yeah. on. Instead of just... Like, if band. they had this as the only musical thing, that would be sick. But, yeah, because it's... It should have been the first thing, really, not the third. I need another Lasoy. People are saying Alan woke crying emoji. How is it woke? <laughs> Alan woke. I respect they got a Sam Lake, that's funny. Have you seen Sam Lake's TikTok, by the way? All he does is just drink coffee, that's it. <laughs> It'll just be him sat in a park just drinking coffee just every, like, five times a week. Kind of base. Damn, he's shredding. Isn't that Max Payne? Yeah, it's the, it's the face model for the first Max Payne. That was good. I'd get Alan Wake too, but it's too woke for me. Oh wow, that was the fabulous <laughs> they added a woman. performing in the role of Alan old woke. gods of Asgard. Thank you to the band, Sam Lake, Remedy Epic, the cast, and everyone involved to bring that performance to life. Something you will only see right here on the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update on a game we announced back at TGA in 2017. Okay. So six years in development. Oh. GTFO. Don't you play that one? No, I played it for like a year. It, it just got a bit. It, it's too hard. 
You basically need to coordinate like so well, or you just. Get... Oh yeah, everyone it, has. It, to it be... always spawns you in with not enough ammo, so you just gotta stealth everything. Actual seven years in development. <laughs> seven people applauding. Joining me now is Ulf from Ten Chambers. Crazy, that was six years ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say... Thank you Americans Thank imitating you Japanese yeah. Western oh, rock. And, uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. Yeah. You look good too. Yeah, Your yeah, game yeah. Looks Are you allowed to swear? Anyway, Can't uh, remember. Yeah, we're working on something new, yeah. and uh, it's like a passion project, like like all our projects are. And you were one, known for payday, <laughs> things like that. He, uh, so that he doesn't get a Game of the Year award guess. if he swears. Yeah, yeah. He, so it gets, he gets revoked. Again. And it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. Okay. And yeah. Hey, apparently, there's a new game that came out you know, yesterday called the day, before, the, the day Before. The Day Before. Yeah, I played that on stream today. It was yes, fucking so awful. It's horseshit, right? It's yeah, awful. Okay. I got I got killed by hackers. It, it's chambers. funny because at one point they had uh, some some hacker join the game and he dropped a bag with 20k gold, and every player just ran to the bag and they just scavenged it like, like rats. Reset the procedure. Continued neural prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. Hi, Mr. Bowman. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. What are you hoping to find in the Nexus Sentinels? You mother... There's no use in fighting. I will get what I want. Ah, uh, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? The games. Yes. He just wants a game. <laughs> Has the PS5 gotten game? I mean literally one game. I don't know what that game's about. It's probably just going to be GTFO, but less sweaty. Thank you, Knuckles, the 10. Has the PS5 gotten a game yet? Uh, they got GTA 6. Sure. Fortnite Battle Bus? Why does everybody have a wrist knife these days in games? It's cool. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair enough explanation, honestly. What is this one? Oh, it's actually the Fortnite Battle Bus. I'm not going to wish this, so that I'm good. That 
was Exoborn. I met with the team Exoborn. Game Take a look at that upcoming what a terrible name. World extraction shooter. And the project is led oh, by extraction some of the shooter. Tarkov moment. And besides facing other players and warring factions, that, that's what that day before is, by the way, because I thought day before was going to be like day Z, but it's not. It's an extraction shooter. Master the apocalypse, as they say. It's Much funny because you can spawn in. You can like choose your loadout in now, day before, but you can go in like without a gun, but you can't even use your fists. So you're actually fucked. You're just running me. Who? I am so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. I've been working I didn't even know there was a first one. And bringing Loki to life, it's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, I'm honestly blown away. So, uh, oh, this is I'm Matthew Mercer. This franchise, oh, this is the, everyone at oh, the fucking McCree voice actor studios, in Overwatch, I think, the cowboy. Quest. So... Without further ado, let's enjoy. <laughs> Hasn't he done more than that? I think he did JoJo as well. Two. Yeah, he did JoJo. Oh, VR game. I'm so excited. <sighs> the gods take everything from mortals. Bleed these lands dry. Hippo in VR? Thy spirits, their rightful passage. Turn worlds to ash. You allowed Loki to deceive you. Bubble reference, am I right? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> they invented Mark. They invented Loki. You actually will have kids that will think that unironically. Or like Peter Griffin from Fortnite? You will grow stronger. What the what are they holding? Is it like an instrument? It's like a harp that's a bow as well. Oh, dutiful guardian, here to right your wrongs. Yeah. Uh, bedtime. Fishing. I like how we look back on that huge vista and it was just a PS2. Yeah, that's the problem with the VR, some of the VR games. The graphics are just way behind. Yeah, unless they're stylized, they look like ass. There is no time or place you can hide. Your fate is mine. Free? Wait, it's free when you buy the 600 pound <laughs> VR headset? Free? <laughs> Oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> it's been an amazing year, not just for games, but for adaptations of the games we love. I got no one's right clapping at like seven people. At the highly anticipated new series, Fallout. Ah, the TV, oh, the TV show, yeah. The trailer looked good, to be fair. Oh, hello there. Hopefully, this is something new. Now, how about we turn on some lights? Oh, yeah, because he's a ghoul in the show, so it makes sense if he was like before the actual show. Oh, it's place. Go it was it was Goggins, right? Yeah, yeah, Walton. Just always a villain because he looks like that. <laughs> Big forehead. Yeah. changes he said it his forehead, he said the thing he said the thing oh my god he said the thing he also said oh, Fallout 76 is it gets too much hate please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella oh shit they made him into a real thing it suits pretty badass though yeah that is cool what's up y'all uh i hope you don't mind we brought a little extra security Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly <laughs> excited to see Fallout on uh, Prime this uh, April. The woman, I think. I'm not sure. 
No, she's the one in Fallout, but I can't remember if she's been in anything. The uh, Fallout woman. <laughs> the the power armor is just a retextured fursuit. Because our bosses are here. What? What? <laughs> oh no. Oh! He didn't want to go on stage because of Starfield. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah. He definitely didn't probably. want to go on stage because of Starfield. <laughs> yeah, but we should probably hurry this up. I don't think we can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Just falls over and dies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Best Adaptation. A vampire messiah will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. If you don't think there's hope for the world, Going on. Oh, I got this. No problem. 20 years ago, the world fell down. Okay, Twisted Metal is not winning. Twisted Metal is Did not winning. Did you watch winning. it? I, I watched well, that one episode. Uh, it's fucking awful. Game goes to the last of us. Wow. Uh, who, who could have seen that one coming? Who get, what? Really? Between that and Twisted Metal? No way. <laughs> Imagine Neil Druckmann goes on stage and he just starts talking about guys. Abby was not a bad character, right? The sex scene was needed. It was needed, okay, for character development. I needed to be in the game as Dr. Ruckman. Uh, okay, clock's ticking. Uh, shout out to my partner in crime, Craig Mason, who's watching up in Didn't Canada. he give himself like max two. stats as well? Uh, yeah. Huge thank out. Next intelligence, family. that's right. Exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given us. And a lot of uh, big thanks to our Did he say... community. None of this exists without I can't you. Can't say you that. So much. Uh, we also want to thank our partners at Sony Pictures. A uh, special shout out to Carter <laughs> Swan and the whole PlayStation Productions team and everyone at PlayStation. Nintendo's thanks probably so going to hire Hitman against them now because Mario Brothers didn't win. It's. It sounded like he said... He had a Freudian slip when he said thanks, right? Wait, what did he say? Okay, people, other people, other people heard that too. What did he uh, say? Oh, the F slur. When of instead of saying big thanks, he said big, you know, Wait, F slur. Uh, huge thank out and I thought I was hearing family. things, but then Colossal saying it in chat too. Two. Although then again, uh, that is Colossal. Huge thank out to our Naughty Dog family. This one. Exists. Uh, he just said thanks and then stopped himself or something. I don't know. Just stumbled. He's like, big, big thank you, yeah. Just some, like, he had a stroke. I'm gonna like. go back. No, I just went back now, yeah. He didn't say it. <laughs> he just turns around, he goes, guys, season two, The Last of Us is coming. If... It sells really well. We get a lot of signups. Maybe we bring back factions to Last of Us Part Two. It does sound like it, but I could just hear the end in there. Yeah. <laughs> just letting out all his pent up progression from like everyone talking shit about the game. Colossus saying to go back on stream. No, I did. To... I did already. Oh, you did. struggling with who I was hasn't even been any like memeable moments a lot of that anxiety, which is annoying put it into making games I mean it's evolved over time especially as I've gotten into AAA well, guess what, everybody? is there anything I'm here that stood out for you Niall is that it is that the end of the game awards like, uh, a woman named Mary I don't think so no they haven't even done the actual game award happened in my life but, but do like you have any games that I don't know. Well, or just moments, because I wanted to do like Game Awards 2023 in a nutshell. But like, what can I do? All I remember is I want to keep making people feel things. The guy saying I'm friends with Hideo Kojima for five minutes. That's it. Yeah, he spoke for ages. Maybe Not chat will have better facing. ideas. Why would you show that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Why would you show that on stream? Just the soy face. <laughs> <laughs> like I get it 10 years ago the interviews and that I get that but not just him soy facing it's literally infamous for how bad the image is <laughs> <laughs> no man soy yeah I remember like when they updated it and they made the game good I played it for like an hour and I was like yeah this is boring I respect that they kept working on it though, but I guess they kind of had to because if they made another game after that, no one would play it. Yeah. I'm assuming someone's taken the image, right? And changed this CD to say No Man's Soy instead of <laughs> No Man's, Man's Sky. Soy. I imagine, I'm assuming that's been done. They're actually just going to keep updating this game for the next 50 years. Well, it is just a better Starfield. True. I would actually rather play No Man's Soy than Soyfield. <laughs> that right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really <laughs> love it, still really enjoy it. I've but been stuck with it for 10 years. Please, five years we please let me make a new game, game guys. Uh, oh, another game. Yeah, something very different, something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for... Uh, Someone said, uh, <laughs> I'm going to read that one. <laughs> Tell us a bit about it. What did they say? Uh, well, for No Man's uh, Sky... Is it, is it what the 9-9 nine nine guy said? ...of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. Yeah. That yeah. wasn't... <laughs> yeah. Easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth. Um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied... Did you say I just, we wanted to create Earth? Did I hear that correctly? Something with you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you <clears> climb <throat> to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents. You know, you can see oceans. So it's just like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's you know, a place where people can live out their sort of adventures together. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you <laughs> have know, you got anything tonight? No. Okay, see you later. Yeah, we didn't actually prepare anything. Uh, we're it's funny because the Sean Murray guy is uh, so unconfident anytime he speaks, so it is almost like he was going to be like, no, we, we don't have anything. Super nervous, you know, but, uh, really the yapper, excited. yeah, he's yapping a bit. It, you know, people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> we'll be back. But no, uh, let's take a look. This is such an incredible project, and I'm honored that we could show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Skeleton? Wait, baby skeletons? What the hell? Oh, this is this is a... DLC, by no, the way, or is it a new game? game? Oh, it's literally and then no they just sky, repeat this. But, like. <laughs> Skyrim? They repeat the cycle, like it launches really broken, then they have to spend the next 10 years making it work. It actually looks exactly like No Man's Sky, but just dragons. So it's No Man's Sky, but you can't go into space. Great. Technically a downgrade. I 
planet where everyone goons. That's just Earth. Instead of No Man's Sky, it's just called One Sky. One planet. I mean, it looks cool, but like, how is it going to stand out, though? No games. Light, no fire. Yeah, I reckon they're going to somehow write into the lore of No Man's Sky because it's got the same red Logo stone. Yeah. That comes but like, who gives a fuck about the lore? Why are people saying pedo game? So, uh, <laughs> they're just saying that about any <laughs> game now. <laughs> See games like that that show kind of the next decade of where games are going. Light no games. All right. Now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. His leg fell off. Yeah, his leg actually fell off. What happened? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? My God, there's so many of you. You guys all look so... So Dude is on, man. What happened? All right. First off, I want to address the elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I, I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. No I one asked, bro. This, guys, <laughs> the story is this. I mean, um, I, I wanted you know, to know, actually, to be hey, fair, but I like that. Yeah, I didn't ask. You know, <laughs> I didn't ask, bro. You cross the 30 threshold. Your body starts so we've had no down, games. Right? Things start happening. Um, we've had Hideo Kojima's my friend, and now we've had my leg hurt. That's it. Um, That's been the game just, awards so far. We've, we've basically, yeah, they play everyone off after they spoke for thirty important. seconds, but they let Hideo um, Kojima speak for twenty minutes. Keeping it real at the game awards. All right. Now I'm I'm here to share something that I'm I'm really really excited. A game. About. I recently got Again. a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely... Okay, I don't care. <laughs> no <laughs> Lego <laughs> Wards! <laughs> no <laughs> Lego <laughs> Wards! <laughs> the no the Lego Wards! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. fucking dry, man. <laughs> no so Lego Wards! <laughs> Now, if you've been destroyed by carriers and void rays on Bnet, no man's <laughs> leg. Definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Uh, Look, it's a noob strat. I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. Who it plays strategy games? Uh, people's dads, usually. Colossal does. Yeah, exactly, people's dads. In the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was well, so it's not a father. A help from the legendary he should be. At his fucking age. And so, yes. I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a He said y'all I'm tapping out I don't care anymore. Yeah, it's woke. The woke awards. It's Let's gone too woke guys. He said y'all. <laughs> Leg. Fortnite? This art style just looks exactly like Overwatch. Fortnite. So what can we actually still potentially get? We Elden Ring DLC, right? N nothing. There's nothing. Um, and no point even bothering with Silk. That's just not happening. How has there just been no games though? Like, I know we, we do this bit, but like, there's actually nothing. Yeah, there's usually like a couple I'll actually do a small soy face to, but so far, I'm sleeping. Believe in Silk Song? Man, I can't. Someone in okay. chat said Clash of Clans skull emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> Get him off the stage, man.
Here are the nominees for best action adventure. Here's the nominees for best leg. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom award in this one. Best oh, leg award. Right. It goes to me. <laughs> something else. My broken leg. <laughs> uh, the, the leg fell off award goes to. Is this action adventure? Yeah. This is pretty balanced. I'm hoping it's Resi 4. Yeah, but it'll be... To be fair, Tears of the Kingdom, this is the only one award they'll probably have a chance at winning. Goes to... The leg award. No surprise here. The Legend of Zelda Tears yeah. of the Kingdom. I don't remember what else Rizzy was up for other than... I don't Game get it. Was it, the, was it the 20 frames award? I don't get it. <laughs> I actually don't get it. How, how did they win? Less frames. Action game under 20 frames on average award. <laughs> the more yapping. More yapping is over. We need to get Matthew in to translate. I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward, this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. Where's the Walking Dead? Could you imagine if the Walking Dead was like up for a Game of the Year award? How dog shit it was. Their own personal story as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule, and to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks. The Nintendo shareholders board have abstained from suicide tonight. I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories at the Game Awards. Here are the nominees for Best RPG, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy I mean, yeah, Baldur's Gate, obviously. Mm. Starfield! I wonder what will win. Starfield got a nomination! Are you trolling? Could you imagine if it was Starfield? Could you fucking imagine, like, how much Todd, how much Todd, like, fucking paid them off? Boot camp, City Skylines 2, Company of Heroes. It won't be City Skylines 2. That game Pikmin. runs an average of 5 FPS. The there's no way it's City Skylines. Yeah, there's Pikmin. no way. Here are the nominees for best sports racing game. EA Sports. What was it, probably? Pikmin. And the crew motor fast. And this year, the game award goes to Forza Motorsport. Congratulations, yeah. Bird Tag. Three for three, the baby. The best multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4. Hearts what do you reckon? Animals, Probably Baldur's again. Six. It's not multiplayer, though. It's like co op. And the game award goes to Baldur's oh, Gate fair. 3. Well, I, I, multiplayer I just Gate, means more than I one think player. Baldur's Gate is so boring, but I really respect like how well that game was received. I just couldn't get past like two hours in. Oh, this is the fan voted one, right? Baldur's Gate. Genshin might have a chance oh, might, of winning because be there's so many fans. Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Oh yeah, they did get it. Damn, they clean it up. Baldur's Gate was just boring, but I, I really do respect how well that game was received and shit. It's just like, you, you literally need to be unemployed or like a kid. scope is insane on it, yeah. You need to be like a kid at school or like unemployed to actually sink time into that game. I just, I just don't have time. Clash of Clans. I love Clash of Clans. No, oh, they made them real. Wait, was she just gonna like gun down an innocent person? <laughs> In Vegas? Hang on a minute. That's that's kind of in poor taste. What?
Colossal, this is not a pedo game. What was the budget for that ad? Like seven dollar? Yeah, it did not look that well made. Guilty gear. There is actually so much anime at the the anime Uber. awards. Okay, we're gonna have to stop calling it the fucking no game awards and call it the anime awards. Colossal is going insane. <laughs> I like how the V is coming up like it's just copy pasting. <laughs> Anything that's anime is just that. The anime awards. How much did you pay them, bro? It's like a seven minute ad. <laughs> How much did you pay, Guilty Gear? Three versus three on a side scroller. Imagine how fucked up that would be. That would get so cluttered. <laughs> yeah, it's like on that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, you can have six people on screen at once, <laughs> and it's a side scroller beat em up. Is this Ark? Remember that game with. This rem remember the game with Vin Diesel that looked fucking awful? Yeah, that's right. Wonder what happened to that. They cancelled it, probably. <sighs> I would not be surprised. The only thing I know about Ark is you always get people that try to make their characters look as fucking ugly as possible. Uh, Just huge chinned Awards. man that's we like three foot tall. <laughs> Oh, that's right. They got Timothy Chalamet on tonight. He's probably just going to say how good the Wonka film is going to be. <laughs> anime? More anime? Please, God, be anime. Please, please be anime. We haven't had enough anime. Please, God. It's over. It's not anime. It's anime. Oh, it's anime. It thank, God. thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's probably Final Fantasy 16 DLC. I never finished that game. Echoes of the game. Bro, the names of these, that's like the most generic fucking name they could have called it. British? The voice British. is, um... The mouth movement didn't even match what he said. Yeah, because it's it's Japanese, and then they just dub it. It's like lip sync to Japanese. Well, no, in the actual in the actual game, it's not like that. Oh, okay. I just always assume with games like that, they they do. Uh, it's like it's like in the earlier Metal Gear games, like Metal Gear Three. It's like the lip sync is just fucking awful because it's meant to be Japanese. Mm -hmm. Oh, it came out now. I like how it's just PS5 exclusive and then it's just coming out like a month later everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just Final PC, I think. With Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Yay. The game I don't That'd have. be cool if I liked the game, yeah. Our industry's greatest creative forces, the creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi. Someone said Colossal is crazy games and he timed him out for that. Vince Sampella. Colossal, what? you were like a Reddit mod. Stop timing people out. Yeah, there was a Colossal game. All right. Good evening, everyone. So, game design can be chaos. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? 
Uh, today it's really normal for Wait, there's, teams of hundreds there's to games work for here? years on what? huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for best game direction. What would that even mean, best, best game, game direction? direction? I have no... I have no idea, idea what that means. I our direction, just, yeah. Together. It's I probably going to be our way, though. Don't have fucking Zelda again. <laughs> Don't you dare have Zelda again. Paid. Paid. It's probably Baldur's though, right? Paid. What's paid? Paid. 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 Just Nintendo taking up half the fucking list. Paid. Amazing. <laughs> and the winner is... Alan Wake. Oh. Alan Wake yeah. too. Sweep. Actually winning a lot. Sweep. That's fair. That's fair. Here comes funny finish man. Thank you for award. It is really good to win again. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> voice break incoming. We want to thank <laughs> Hector, Nicole for believing in our vision. Uh, crazy vision. <laughs> crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And and huge thanks to Remedy French, team he's Finnish. How the fuck does he sound French? Does not sound Wanting French. Believing in the sliders. Oh no, his voice broke. It's over. I forgot everything he said. Yeah, so, move on. Move on. Move on. He's yapping. He's yapping. Move, and, uh, move him on. Move him on. Nothing comes out of it. But when <laughs> more than 100 people uh, believe they're going to the kick in the music in a second and, and build something out of it, we can make miracles. We can make art and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, they're going to start playing the music in about yeah, five just seconds. Like get him off the stage. Uh, one other thing. Uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. New story content. Uh, so, yeah, go play it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Game Awards. Thank you, Game Awards, despite having no games. <laughs> Imagine he just like mugs on them. He's like, I just want to say, uh, Super Please Mario won no awards, Lamau. <laughs> the finals. Oh, this is that Ubisoft game. Have you seen that? It's that I Ubisoft Call of Duty. It's, it's trying to kill like Call of Duty, but I don't think it ever will. He set a bold vision for us. Nothing can kill Call of Duty. If we're going to make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no There's like destruction in it though, Starting like in the maps today, and stuff, which look pretty I'm cool. I'm so proud and grateful to the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this it's crazy not Ubisoft. Dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players. What yeah, I mean, if it looked good, it probably wasn't. No, I, I thought it was Ubisoft. Didn't it have like Third Echelon in it from like Splinter Cell? Like they were one of the groups or something? I love you for that. Now, Let's watch our latest. He looks nothing like Mr. Beast, guys. For the launch date at the very end, it might be sooner than you think. Thank you and enjoy. The final straw awards. <laughs> Battlefield, put motion blur. I like how ridiculous character designs look now in just multiplayer shooters, just to compete. <laughs> they just explode into money. 
So is this a game that's already out or? I don't know. It's been in early access for a bit. Because like it's since and season one. It might actually have just came out like officially. Someone said the trailer that's awards. Right, the, <laughs> the trailer awards. On Steam, that's like that's all the game awards is. <laughs> After the show, make sure to check out the game awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm good. And the winner. I'm good. Is Fort Who? Congratulations! You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map. And while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code. Is below. Peter Griffin. Have you seen how they've got like Peter Griffin as an NPC that roams around Fortnite? He's got like 1k HP, he just one taps you. There's so many clips, it's great. Oh uh, yeah. Just the golden Peter Griffin. Isn't this like the third Fortnite ad now? Yeah, it actually might be the fourth one. Yeah, because they had the Lego one, they had the driving one, now they've got this one. It's pretty crazy how much shit is in it now. Larian, let's go. Now it is time for you to join the others and complete our destiny. What was the other Fortnite ad? That's saying four Fortnite ads. I don't remember the fourth one. Um, chat will probably know. <clears throat> Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. Penis Gate. Holy crap, you get a tree from the special edition? You just get a whole tree. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to plant it yourself and it takes a hundred years to grow. <laughs> this looks like something I will never play. Bell, right. It's so what happened there? Name. He shot a pig and built a house. That was it. On Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. <laughs> After the show, check out the TGA post show on Twitch where Google Play will reveal the winner of its Play More Award. Awesome. Thanks, Sydney. Well, now it's time for tonight's final world premiere. Okay. That's right, we're getting towards the end of the show. Silk so song, maybe? Something good. I will let speak. Itself. Maybe Silk Song. It's over. Yeah, Jay, you lost. You lost, Jay. <laughs> you actually lost. I Fuck. didn't even think they were gonna show it. Yeah, you lost. Just fucking dinosaurs. It's over. Oh. Okay, but he said let it speak for itself, so maybe it will be Kino. <laughs> Anime <laughs> game. They made Silk Song 3D, <laughs> and they took out all the bugs. Oh, this is another Monster Hunter game. Yeah, surely Monster Hunter. So we're not are we not even gonna get Elden Ring DLC nope. announcement? <clears throat> Can we at least get that fucking child guy on stage, the Bill Clinton kid, the Bill to, Clinton to kid. do something? He's probably already been arrested. Can we yeah, get it's it's Can monster, we get something, man? Can we get anything? So that's like they've got weather effects now, which just looks cool. I'll be honest, I tried playing like the latest Monster Hunter. I got like an axe and it took me like nine years to swing it. And every time I swung it, the enemy was already in like a different region. So I just gave up. 
Well, I think there are different weapons, to be fair. Yeah, but then you can the, use... the quick ones do, like, no damage. Two years? Two years. Bro, thanks to G A five or six. Two <laughs> years. Please welcome to the stage Monster Hunter series producer Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so I'm, I'm hoping they have like a secret, at the Game a secret announcement, like when you know well, Cyberpunk hacked. Technically, into it. isn't a world premiere when the game hasn't been announced yet. Yeah. I'm, I'm just coping. I already know Silk Song's not coming, <laughs> but can we get can we get Elden Ring DLC, man? Something. Give me a crumb. This is just the Anime Awards, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> you can't just say that when this is true. No, I mean like with the amount of like Guilty Gear and shit they've had on as <laughs> yeah, well. Like how many anime games they've fucking had. To everyone, uh, this title, back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you. Uh, the Cope Awards. <laughs> the Cope Awards. <laughs> Just no attempt at uh, I think everyone wants to know when I mean it actually is the Cope Awards. Any sense of when Just hoping a good game comes up. Yeah, because I remember last year there were still quite a few. I was like, oh yeah, that could be cool. え、この40年間、え、応援してくださった、え、ファンの皆様、本当にありがとうございます。え、これからもですね、え、皆様に楽しんでいただける良いゲームを作っていけるよう努力して、え、頑張ってまいりますので、え、これからも引き続きぜひ
please flute for me, flute man. Oh, he's fluting. Oh, he's fluting. Oh, he's going all in. Oh, he's fluting. That's a fucking stupid word. <laughs> <laughs> fluting. <laughs> I'm fluted right now. I'm frilting. Oh, oh dude, yeah, dude, 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 did you see the fucking size of the saxophone he pulled out? Look at the fucking size of that thing. It's a monster. Oh, Lord, he going in. He's, he's not, that is he's, not he's, a sex. That is not a saxophone. I don't know what the fuck it is. Just it's long and it's brass. It's a saxophone. That's he actually upgraded his it's flute. A, it's a frilt. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually upgraded his fucking flute. So it's a genius. frilt. It's a frilter. It's not a frilt. It's a frilt. <laughs> it's like a Dark Souls fucking flute or something. Dude, he's got another flute. He actually had a backup flute. He just pulled out. I'm only watching him, I'll be honest. Oh, he's fluting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, game of the year goes to Flute Man. <laughs> for his flute. The Flute Awards. Honestly, the, fl <laughs> the, the size of that flute awards. was more impressive than any game I've shown. The Flute Awards. <laughs> <laughs> Game of the Year goes to Wonka, starring me, and Timothy game Chalamet. Of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. You could see him like enunciate the B, like when he rolled his lips back, like it was over. I mean, that, that, that was a given. That was a given. Yeah. Which is fair. Like, literally anything else, I think everyone would complain, but it was the only one where it was like everyone just kind of unanimously Accepted agreed it, it yeah. deserved it. Cause like imagine if fucking Zelda had won or something like yeah the imagine it or oh, oh no the worst one would have been Spider Man that would have gotten everybody's sawing or uh, reverse sawing. <laughs> um, I didn't expect it anymore. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate Three isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls. Colossal is losing I love how you can hear the. Uh, I love game. how you can hear the armor. Very yeah, just. How is Baldur's Gate a pedo uh, game? What is Colossal talking away, about? We, we lost quite a few people also, so we want to. He's just salty this, that uh, Silk Song didn't get announced. And especially uh, to Jim. I don't blame him. Uh, Oliver, uh, what else could have won? Uh, what could have won that would have made you happy? Uh, Fucking uh, Spider-Man uh, Two. Nothing. He, he wouldn't have even liked any of the noms. Over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. Uh, but uh, I also uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this. Yeah, you can just hear the armor like uh, frilting. Uh, our families, our friends, it's not, our partners. It's not what it's doing. Uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, Jeff, be like, and we've got one more surprise for you, and then it's just another anime game. A new trailer for the Wonka film starring Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> congratulations, Fan, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th. There's no way that's it. There's no Royals way. That's so mid. Surely, surely, surely something. Quickly, run on stage. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton, please. No, it's over. They got him. They shot him like a trank dart. It's over. Is that it? Really? Is that really it? Fucking hell, the I like how we're, ho we're holding out hope like there's gonna be a fucking yeah, end yeah, they're gonna be like, scene yeah, like yeah, Marvel. Even though half the people in the in the stage just left anyway. Yeah. Dude. That was horseshit. It's actually over. Fucking hell. That sucked. All right. I'm going to end stream, I think. It's like four in the morning. Holy shit. All right. I'll catch you guys. How was there nothing? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know. There, there, there was absolutely nothing. That sucks. I really expected there to be like something. Like what? What? Can you recall what happened there? I actually can't. <laughs> I don't know. What happened? There was Hideo Kojima's my friend, leg fell off. That that that's it. 
There was nothing. That was awful. God the, damn. The best part. Did you end stream yet, or are you still going? Yeah, I'll end stream now. Hang on. All right, guys. Uh, uh, literally, best part was the flute guy. Like, that's not even. Oh yeah, a no, meme. no, flute guy. Flute guy was the best. Yeah, that was honestly it. That was honestly it. Flute man going insane. All right, I'm gonna end stream, guys. It's four in the morning. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for joining.